We need everybody to tune in. Not one person, not no two people, not three people. I need everybody to tune in. I left, I left a very, very, very important meeting for this. Like, we need everybody to tune in right now. Like, no trolls whatsoever. Like, I don't want that one person talking crazy, talking reckless. I need everybody to tune in. Let me know where you're okay. We got two people in here. What's up, y'all? That's your boy. Talk to me. I'll talk back. No trolls. Please, no trolls. Like, no trolls. We had a nice conversation um, yesterday when I was getting my joints retwisted. Everybody was on here. It was a hundred. It wasn't any arguments. Everybody was, was good. We need that, that same type of energy tonight. I'm in New York. It's 1047 right now. Um, what the fuck? I'm, no, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. It's 1147. It's 1147. We're in New York right now, right? Come in, Ashley Perkins. What's up? I need y'all to, to, to really hear me out. I'm going to talk my shit. Look. So this is what I'm, and these all facts, these facts, these facts, and I'm going to be looking because I, I got notes on my, on my phone and my laptop. So what's up? Okay, here I come. Listen, check this out. Um, I'm going to give you all the reasons. Yo, Zach, what's up? You ain't answering this and your manager trying to talk to you. So look, I'm going to give you all the reasons. Um, why? The kids in the room are innocent. I'm gonna tell, and these all facts. Just really, really hit me out. And y'all can write y'all comments in the bottom. And we gonna talk. We gonna talk this shit tonight. I ain't going to sleep until like I figured the case out. On a plane, I was putting two and two together. I was reading shit. I was looking at shit on my laptop. I was looking at evidence, videos from interviews, and a lot of shit didn't add up, and a lot of shit did add up. But check this out. So when you start separating facts from opinions in the Kanika Jikis case, um. You gotta take in consideration a lot of shit. First off, we're gonna we're gonna talk about fact number one. Fact number one, Irene. Oh shit, let me move this down. Cause hold on, hold on. Okay, we're gonna talk about fact number fact number one. Irene and Monifa, or none of the kids in that room, are savage, savage, and savvy. They aren't savage or savvy enough. To pull off a heinous crime like that of that nature, you understand what I'm saying. When I say a heinous crime, I'm talking about like, like really killing somebody st from strangulation, overdose, or, or or stabbing them with a needle with with drugs in their system, and then throwing their body in a the freezer. They're not that type of. Uh uh. It, I don't. I'm not saying Monifa is dumb. I'm not saying Irene is dumb, but they. They don't got that type of intelligence. That IQ level isn't on that type of upper echelon to do some shit like that. Just think about that for a second. You remember these are young girls from the west side of Chicago. Not saying they're dumb, but we really, really realistically thinking. For number two, Kanika death did not occur in the hotel. Hi, Kanika did not die in room 926. Let me get this out of here. Let me say this. Kanika did not die in room 926. Kanika died in a... <clears throat> Kanika died downstairs. You understand what I'm saying? I just want to put that out there. So, I, like, people will say, oh, she might die in the hospital. In, in, um, yo, she say free savage. Free my little brother, free savage. Um, Kanika, I saw a motherfucker saying, like, yo, she died upstairs and they carry her down. And no, her friends did not have anything to do with the, her death. You understand what I'm saying? Even after I reviewed the tapes, because I said, yo, I saw the dude that I interviewed, I saw him. Walking in the hallway, you understand? I had to put two and two together. You understand? But Shorty ain't ain't had nothing to do with this shit. R remember, I said Irene and Monifa didn't have anything to do with that. That ain't they ain't that smart to to drug her and all that other shit. She did not die in room nine twenty six. Number three, those were just kids turning up at a kickback. Chicago, drugs, the Molly, the weed, the liquor. They having a kickback. They they off the shits. They enjoying themselves. You know what I'm saying? No one came to that party with with, with with homicidal thoughts, with murder on their mind, with the intent to kill. You understand whether they hated her, liked her, or whatever the case may be. Nobody came to that party with with, with, with premeditated murder on their minds. 
you know, as black people, um, they in the hood. We in the hood. South side, west side. I don't care where you from. If you black, you want to kill a motherfucker, you're going to get it over with. Just like that. You're going to get a gun. You're going to shoot him. And, and, and it's over. We not. We black, my nigga. Like, we not going to take the time to, 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 to do whatever to kill you. Then try to hide the homicide by putting your body in the freezer, wrap it up, stretch it out. We don't do that. We don't got time for that. You understand? Black people do not kill like that. Y'all, y'all gotta think about that. We don't stab. You know what I'm saying? And girls will stab you, but I'm saying we don't. We and 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 listen, sweetheart. We this is all facts. Just listen to me, like real talk. I'm from Chicago. I'm telling y'all the real mass. Mass state of a motherfucker in Chicago. We don't we don't get down like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, what she say? I just can't. I can't hear no part. Check this out. We don't we don't care like that. So when people was like, oh maybe it was a gang initiation. Maybe she had to get jumped in the gang. If you a hood person in the gang, and they want you dead, they are gonna have you shot. They ain't finna plot on you and let that take you to a motherfucking million dollar establishment with cameras everywhere. Like. You know what I'm saying? I know they probably like black people don't think, but motherfuckers is not that dumb. Just, just think, motherfuckers isn't that dumb to take it to a full establishment where, where cameras, it's everywhere, and you know what I'm saying? Like it don't make sense in an enclosed indoor space, which is the hotel that's filled with hundreds of guests, and we risking our chance of someone seeing them. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't make sense. Then they would say, uh. The game bangers did it. Game bangers really don't operate like that. That was a messy, extremely messy murder. Like motherfuckers don't do that. Like I said, they shoot you, get you gone, put a hit on you. It's whatever. You see, this crime could have and would have easily occurred in the hood where cameras not at. Just think about it. like you in a hood, motherfucker gonna, gonna do a drive by, have a motherfucker get you when you're not looking, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? No one in their right mind will go live doing a fucking murder. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Irene was off the shits. Irene was off appeal. That's why her bottom lip was shaking like that. Irene didn't go live in 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 in, in um, fear of her life. Oh my God! I want y'all to see. You know what I'm saying? Who behind me or who in this room? Like she was going live because she was blocked. She didn't even go live on her own Facebook page. Remember that she went blocked off. She she was blocked on Facebook. Like I'm blocked on Facebook, so I'm on another person's page. Just what Irene was doing. She went on somebody else's page to go live. You understand what I'm saying? Um. So d don't say she went because she was scared. Like she was just in that bitch turning up, trying to see what's popping. Um. She, they weren't involved in the in, in the shit. Those kids that was in room nine twenty six. They were the first and most obvious suspects. So trust and believe me when I say. That they were thoroughly investigated. Thoroughly, 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 thoroughly. Um, you don't think the police or the hotel would have... Hold up. I wrote a lot of notes for this. Um, where the fuck am I at? You don't think the police or the hotel would have had any problems airing or blasting those kids that were involved in this. Um, but they had no reason to. They didn't... They, they couldn't pinpointed on these kids because they didn't have anything. So when motherfuckers was like, Monifa did it, she not showing emotion, or Irene did it, such and such. No, Shorty them really didn't know what happened to her. They really didn't know. You know, if them people in Rosemont had any effort, fucking evidence, they would have been put it on these young black kids from the west side of Chicago. You understand? Case closed. Boom. We're going to put it on them. We caught them doing this, doing that. Come on, bro. They would have put it on the quote unquote hoodlums or whatever they said. Um one reason what reason would they have to delete or edit any footage that shows the kids was in um restricted areas. You know, we never we never physically um seen the boys walk in the in the fucking kitchen. You know, people were saying, "Oh, we see somebody with a blue sweater. We see somebody behind us, behind it." Like, like I didn't see shit. I, I don't know if y'all mind playing tricks on y'all. Like, I ain't see shit. I didn't see anybody in the basement with her. Like, as far as the guys that was in the room, I ain't see none of that shit. So when y'all talking that shit, oh, I see this, I see that. I just think y'all tweaking. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers, was it wasn't it, was it down there with her? But y'all know who was down there with her? Security. When you're in a building like that, you got to think, how do you get access? Who have access to, to unrestricted areas? Security. 
Who know the building more than anybody else in that motherfucker? Security. You know, oh, Kanika was left in the hallway by herself. Kanika was 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 was, was in the hallway. Look, I want y'all to really go to Periscope and down like download the app Periscope. It's a lady on their name, Epistit or whatever. That's the lady that purchased all 36 hours of the footage from Rosewell Hotel. How the fuck did she bad? You got to think about that. Who the fuck is she the bad? What do we, like, how are you more, like, special than us that you get the baddest footage? Who are you? Where are you from? Are you from the hotel that they hire you? Did they want you to put it out? Why did you put out this footage after her funeral? Why? Why was it this funeral release right before Kanika, you know what I'm saying, funeral, when a mother... And Lenore was up there asking, where the footage at? When they initially went to the hotel, it was asking, where the footage at? Why didn't you put it up there? You're gonna, it's a lot of shit y'all got to think about. Um, um, what do you say? And they, and they told the mother, be patient because a lot of it is, is nothing. But you got to really pay attention to that footage. You got to really pay attention to that footage. Because in that footage, you know who you see a lot? The fucking security guard. You know who else you see a lot? The fucking maintenance man. Y'all ain't thinking about that. Y'all so busy, stuck on all. Oh, like, let's look for Monifa. Let's look for the gas. Like, y'all missing a lot of good points. Hold up. I literally wrote this shit on the plane. I swear to God. I'm like, I want to tell y'all. Like, I know it's a lot. Like, look, it's impossible. It's literally, it's impossible to expect or guarantee silence and loyalty from a room full of 20 to 30 kids. That's a fact. Especially from those who were not involved in the crime at all. Someone would have broken or cracked the case by now. Someone would have snitched. I know Chicago is a no snitching zone. We don't, we, don't, we don't fuck with the ops. We don't fuck with 12. Fuck 12, whatever. But somebody would have said, bro, y'all ain't finna just put this this motherfucker m m murder on me. Y'all ain't finna put this case on me, my nigga. Like, I know what happened. I know who did this. I know she was seen with her. Ain't nobody tell because they really don't know shit. I was stuck. I was like, y'all, now nah, motherfuckers know something. People don't know nothing when you talk about the Kanika Jiggis case. Nobody know that. None of them kids know. They don't know nothing. They was in that partying. You understand what I'm saying? She was left in the hallway. And it's... Let me get back to what I'm saying before I tell you how she got in the hallway. Okay. There's no way in hell that a crime was being committed in that room and people did not stop. That's a fact. At the situation... Look at the situation in disbelief of like, yo, she getting raped, she getting choked, we finna help our friend. Nobody ain't just sit there. So we know that shit really didn't happen. People will have started immediately leaving, especially those who weren't involved in the shit to get to clear their name, to get the fuck out the building. Reasons why it wasn't the owner or he wasn't like doing the organ trafficking as y'all be saying and shit like that. The owner is filthy rich. We all know that. Like he have numerous establishments. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so why would he want a couple hundred, a couple thousand from one particular black girl? You understand what I'm saying? Like, that really doesn't make sense. Um, that's like a, a big time drug dealer uh, who who sell pounds for a living, risking serving a nickel bag of weed to to to, to get caught. That don't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? First off, thinking like the, the organ shit, but I'm looking like, nah, why the fuck would he risk it to get caught? Y'all got to take this into, into consideration. Uh, uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, receive and pay. Um, if the if the owner is harvesting um, organs or whatever he is doing it in a professional manner, meaning he has a team already set up and he has other business owners he's getting organs from already, such as funeral homes, hospitals, cemeteries, etc. Just think about it, people. The owner risking his business for one body is equivalent to a drug dealer that owns kilos and risking his freedom to sell a nickel bag. It's not going to happen in reality. I just stated that. By the time the owner and the police saw the footage the next day, it was already deleted and edited. They, too, are trusting and believing the words of the hotel employees. Once again, it's the reason why none of these kids are in jail for this. Believe me, it's the reason Jedediah or any other activist, for that matter, is not protesting outside Irene or Monifa's house. Because they really believe Shorty them didn't do shit. Or they really find it in their soul. Shorty, like, the facts don't lead to them. These are the reasons why I think it was the security guard alone. 
or someone else that worked in that hotel, especially the kitchen. Just think about it. This is a four or five star hotel. I'm in a four or five star hotel right now. You understand what I'm saying? They spend great money, not good. They spend great money on the top notch security equipment, such as cameras, uh, the radar detectors, all that shit. They spend this shit to protect their establishments and employees as well as the guests. You know what I'm saying? If no one else in the world saw Kanika wandering around in that hotel, it's guaranteed the security saw her. They are watching the tapes 24-7. You know, late at night, security sit in the office. I know many people that used to do security jobs. When they ain't shit else to do, they sit in a fucking office and monitor them and monitor the, the tapes. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, this shit is tough. Anyhow, they have camera access to all areas at all times. If the night security doesn't do anything else, they are guaranteed watching the cameras, especially if security have been to room 926 several times, like they said, to continue to watch for them. That's a fact. I ring said it out her mouth. The two guys I interviewed said it out their mouth. The security came to that room numerous times and said, please put a towel down under the door so the marijuana, the weed smoke doesn't circulate through the hallway and distract other guests. So instead of putting them out, he was letting them, like, continue to smoke or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was kind of crazy to me. You know, you in this establishment, you want to keep your job as a security guy. It seemed like you'll give them. Not even give them a warning. Man, get the fuck out of here. Y'all know it's no smoking. Look. No smoking. Any four or five hotel got that. Four or five star hotels. No smoking in, in, in our establishment. He let them smoke. And he, you know what I'm saying, watched them tapes. I think the motherfuckers was working together. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you had an hour room 926 from the start, you been, you was watching the cameras. The only logical reason for Kanika to move out of that spot and leave the room from her friends, it was one of two reasons. It was one. I'm going to tell you, it's one of two reasons. The first reason, she had to use the bathroom. Somebody else was probably in the bathroom. If y'all really watch, I don't know. It wasn't Bree Bree. It's the girl. She went live in there. She went live in the washroom, and then she showed, she panned the camera towards Kanika, and Kanika tried to hide her face. I, they said Kanika tried to hide her face because she didn't tell her mother or some shit she was going to, whatever, but it was a girl in the washroom, and I'm thinking, like, damn. So it was a, numerous girls in the washroom, so if Kanika, because Kanika was drinking Hennessy, remember, they was getting drunk. You know, lick of run through your system and make you want to piss or whatever. So she, they was probably in the washroom. Kanika couldn't use that washroom, so Kanika wandered, stumbled in the hallway, before they was finna leave, Monifa and them, before they were finna leave, she in the hallway. They went back in there to get their keys. Left in the hallway. She thinking, I gotta go piss. Let me try to find it. Let me let me find the nearest washroom. It's a, it's a big hotel. I know it's a public washroom somewhere. Some, my bed, my bed, y'all. Somebody just called. Um, it's it's a public washroom somewhere on this floor or whatever. So she had to. Kanika Jenkins had to bump into. A motherfucker that broke there. Just think, you in the hallway. Oh, excuse me, sir. I gotta use. I gotta take a piss. Where the washroom? You work here. You are... who keep fucking calling me? Um, excuse me, sir. You work here. I have to use the washroom. Where's the washroom? She was told after she asked for uh, to use the bathroom, the washroom. She was told by an employee that she had to move and couldn't stand there. Just think about it. If she in the hallway after her friend went in there, they went back in the hotel room to look for some sh some shit and the people tell you, you gotta clear the hallway. Y'all be, be, y'all too loud. Y'all throwing a party. Y'all got weed coming out. You gotta get out the hallway. Oh shit, okay, I'ma leave, I'm leave the hallway. Um, Hit the elevator. You know, the elevator's right there on the left side of 926. You understand what I'm saying? Or if, I'm, if she would've asked, if either you gotta get out the hallway or let me show you where the washroom was at. It's it's logical thinking. Let me, Kanika, let me show you where, or the fuck, he ain't gonna say her name, because he don't know Ma'am, come on, follow me. I'm gonna show you where the washroom at. So Kanika leave while Monifa and them is in there grabbing their phone and their keys. She leave with the employee. Either way it go, whether they told her to leave out the hallway or they took her to the washroom, either way it go, it shows Kanika was encountered by an employee. Then you got to think about this. Only an employee knows every area of the hotel and only security is allowed to walk in unrestricted areas that wouldn't be a surprise to see them walking through. You understand what I'm saying? So when people was like, damn, she was in the kitchen and it looked like somebody was telling her come this way. They was probably down in the kitchen telling her the washroom is that way. Go straight or the washroom is this way. You understand what I'm saying? The security controls the camera settings and all that they edited everything 
That's why when the mother came back and said, um, my daughter's missing. Let's see the tape. Oh, we, it's not working because they needed time. They needed to stall until motherfucker edit them tapes. You feel me? They didn't want to get a, they don't want to release that footage with their face in the picture. You understand what I'm saying? It clearly show. Oh yeah, we, we, we did what we had to do. You understand what I'm saying? So they had to edit them tapes. That's why they said none of this footage isn't working. Mysteriously, after the funeral went, after the case was closed, that's when 36 hours of unreleased camera footage pops up out of nowhere. Y'all don't think about this shit, bro. Y'all don't think about this. Y'all don't think about this. She was annoyed. She was probably ready to go. Fuck it, I'm finna go down here. They trying to, you know what I'm saying? She already intoxicated. Oh, the, it's this way. They they could have tried to tell her come out to the door this way. It's a lot of shit y'all don't y'all y'all ain't taking into um consideration. Um, once again, only employee security had immediate access to videos and could delete it at anything. The footage started getting deleted once her mother arrived at the hotel looking for her. So this means the owners or the police are not covering up for an employee. Okay, so I get Rosemont this. They're probably not covering up for the employee. You understand what I'm saying? Rose, the owners or the police of Rosemont probably not covering up for an employee. They are honestly believing that the employee, which is the security, and the edited videos, and the employee shows them because they just just by looking at the videos, you know, if, if if something happened and you call the cops, it's a fight, it's a disturbance at my hotel, boom, we're going to think logical. The cops going to come on the scene, right, boom. The first motherfuckers they're going to ask to speak to is who? The security. Because the security controls what? The cameras, the tapes, the footage, the security. They're not going to ask to speak to the manager for what? You don't, you at the front desk, you don't see what's going on on these cameras. The security have all that access. The security. Think about that. When the cops came, they went right to the security. Let's show us the tapes. They showed them the tapes. All of it edited. They took them out. Oh, yeah, she walked in there by herself. So now the cops think, oh, she was drunk. She was intoxicated. She's a black girl. She's at a party. Drugs involved. She did it by herself. So now the fucking security is off. They, oh, my God, we got off. That's how they think, and they got off. You understand what I'm saying? Hold on, let me break it down a little bit more. Um, what they said happened. She clearly drunk, and she lost, and she walks in the kitchen to the area where it's only a freezer, and she ends up in there, and she's on camera alone, so they could only mean she put herself in there. Think about it. That's exactly what the footage displayed. Think about it. The footage did display a drunk black girl walking through the kitchen, found in the freezer. That's what it displayed. That's what they wanted to show to the public. Get off our back. We didn't kill her. She killed herself. That's what they wanted to display. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they wanted us to believe. Because that's what the footage says. You know how they be like, believe none of what you hear, half of what you see. Well, we saw this, so now we're thinking, damn, that's the footage of her walking in the kitchen and get found in the freezer, but they never did show her actually entering the freezer. And remember, they said she was in another part of the kitchen. The kitchen that we seen her initially walk in, they say that that wasn't the kitchen that she was found dead in, when in reality it actually was. On that additional 36 hours of footage, you see the cops rushing in that freezer area. Well, in that particular um, kitchen area where we saw her on camera, they rushed in there. He got us all confused. Somebody helped this man. You don't understand. There's a lot of dumb people that don't understand. Um, yeah, it's crazy how y'all think. That it's crazy how y'all think. But let me finish. I ain't gonna get into that. That's why y'all broke. Um, what employee had access to the footage immediately besides the security? No one but the security guard. What employee told the mother to leave? The security. Please get off our premises before we call the cops for trespass. Y'all remember that? Remember she said that? Y'all got to take that too. Obviously, the security person that was working at third shift, remember I said it. Because when I did the interview with Irene, she said that the person was working between 11 and 7. You know in Chicago, that's the third shift. That's overnight shift between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So, obviously, the security person who was working at third shift, which is normally 11 to 7, explains why the body wasn't found until 12.15 the next day. After the police had been there searching all day, they were probably about to call the search off or at least 
for the for the night until the employee found her and went and got the police, which means the employee works third shift as well. Think about that. Listen, listen. Just listen again. Just listen. Obviously, the security person that was working the third shift, which is normally between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m., that explains why her body wasn't found until 12.15 a.m. the next day after police has already been inside the hotel searching for her. They were probably about to call the search off or at least for the night until the employee found her and went and got the police, which means the employee worked the third shift as well, which means they've been seeing her. But they were trying to come up with a logical explanation of why she was found in the freezer. You understand what I'm saying? They was trying to um, clear their name and clear themselves up. They want to look responsible for the shit. Then you got to think about this. When police are conducting a search, they didn't. They don't just let any and every employee help them search. They let who? Security. They let the security help them. You understand? You might have a, a criminal justice degree. You might have took a few law enforcement classes. We're going to let y'all help us with this case. You understand what I'm saying? Because y'all got a little bit of experience in it. And y'all got access to the cameras. You got to think about who would be the employee that would allow to help them search. And that's the security. Who knows exactly where the areas where the cameras don't work. Security. Which Kanika's walk through the kitchen. She is not as intoxicated or confused as she was in the hallway. You got to think about that too. When Kanika is in the hallway. You know when y'all talk about she too thick. That ain't her. The lot of thighs don't match up. She was fucked up. It seemed like she was fucked up struggling she i saw her go up some stairs and damn the fall all type of shit but when she was in the kitchen she was walking like fake straight like like straight like a motherfucker told her go straight that way or come over here you understand they could have easily they know they know where the camera's at so they could have easily hear behind the camera or behind the wall where the camera isn't going to show you like it's called blind spots and so i go over there and she went um who, who who knows exactly what areas where the cameras don't work? You know what I'm saying? Who who knew besides the secu security? When Kanika walked through the kitchen, she's not intoxicated or confused as she was in the hallway. Ask, ask herself why. Why does it seem like she knows where she is going? Then it seemed like she know where, exactly where she was going. She was going straight. Think about that. Why does it seem like she know exactly where she was going? Where could she have possibly been thinking she was going? And why was she going willingly? Where the fuck was she thinking she was going? And why was she walking willingly? Like, willingly. You, bro, you not, you can't tell me if you're looking for a washroom or for a motherfucker, say the washroom is going straight. You're going to go straight. I'm going straight. Nigga, if you don't know where you're going, you're going to be turning your head. Like, where the fuck this washroom at? She was going straight, willingly. Like, they knew exactly. Like, she knew exactly where she was headed to. You understand what I'm saying? Because a motherfucker told her, go straight over there. Um... Y'all got to watch the footage on the Periscope if you're going to be following this case. You will see the security guard doing a bunch of weird shit like going in the women's bathroom. And that's a fact. You watch the additional 36 hours. A lot of people don't sit straight through it because it's 36 hours. It's a fucking day and that's some change of hours to watch. But he going to the washroom. That's kind of weird. And y'all notice Kanika went in. She, she, I think she went in the wrong. It's one room she went in and she popped right back out. Um... Come on, man. Why am I shit tweaking right now? Give me one second, man. <sighs> Hold up. What is your saying? She trusted whoever it was. Exactly. Exactly. I wish people would stop with the decoy theory. They're not that smart, honestly. She was walking. What do you say? She was walking like she was following someone. Exactly, Jessica. Exactly. He was running, yep, and running down frantically. Secure. What do you say? Y'all got oh, y'all smart. I fucks with y'all. What do you say? Mm, security guard could turn off cameras. I'm sure. Exactly, Rachel. Exactly. The security guard was looking for her running around and just being weird. Exactly. A motherfucker showed me some footage too of this, a two of a dude in the kitchen and the security guard. But the dude that was supposed to be cleaning, he had a fucking like a uh, um a laundry cart right and he had a bag on top of the cart right it was a it was a medium-sized bag but on the bottom of the cart was a big bag i don't know if it was garbage or not but i'm thinking if it's a big garbage bag why the fuck would you put it at the bottom you understand what i'm saying what were you trying to transport in there 
I don't think that they initially tried to murder her. I just think it was a situation going wrong. And when I say a situation, it could have been a sexual assault going wrong. A, a, a motherfucker probably touched her ass and she, and she snapped out. You understand what I'm saying? It could be a lot of things, but I don't think anyone in that room had any ill thoughts on killing Kanika Jenkins. I think someone in that hotel killed her and tried to cover it up. It's my thoughts. I, 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 study, I studied this shit. I, where the fuck she was thinking she was going? She was walking willingly. Think about it, man. Just think about it. It's a lot of fucking comments. I really, somebody, like somebody said, I really think the security has something to do with it. Somebody said, mm, how you tried to get an interview with her mother? Says, what happened with the autopsy? Come on, man. And they keep telling y'all the autopsy coming up inconclusive. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it came up inconclusive. We can't find out the cause of death. Nah, my nigga. Y'all can find out the cause of death. Y'all don't want us to, excuse me. To find out what it was, cause y'all know all hell gonna break out. Y'all know that. Somebody said it looked like a body instead of trash. I heard that. I heard it like a body. You know what I'm saying? What it say? But even if a camera was turned off, there is an internal hard drive that says recording. I believe they have the footage. Yeah, gee, y'all don't think where the fuck thirty six additional hours come from out of nowhere? After they said, they told the news, they told the mother, they told the lawyer, they told the cops. We have no more footage. No more footage. Then, miraculously, after the fucking funeral, that's when all this shit come about. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. Ain't nobody that done. There was blood when it moved, and the guy behind it mopped it up. I heard that, that it was blood that came out the bag at the bottom. I believe Shorty fought back. Shorty, like, when I interviewed the people, they said it, like, she won, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, hold up. Fuck this. I might as well go all the way, right? Let me say, let me. Y'all want to see something, right? I want to see something, right? I'm going to show you. I'm, t I'm sort of, I'm so tired, too. I had a lot of video shoots. I'm so fucking tired. Uh, I've been thinking about this shit all day. I'm on a plane thinking about this. I'm in two meets thinking about this shit. Like, yo, what the fuck happened? You know? Body language a motherfucker. You can tell when a nigga lying. You can tell anybody lying. You can tell, like, Saudi and them ain't being a hundred. Irene, she a hundred. You know, the Saudi Shamaya, she a hundred. Monifa, she a hundred. You understand what I'm saying? The dudes I interviewed, they a hundred. Shawty them didn't have shit to do with Kanika Jenkins' death, man. You know, somebody in that hotel know what the fuck happened. I ain't hiding that shit. You know, hold on. I'm loaning some shit up. I ain't loaning it off, no. Play y'all some shit, hold on. Give me one second. What do you say? Oh, somebody say, no, don't show these people nothing. Leak what? This same guy was running down the stairs with that bag. So sad. Chance I haven't seen it. What you think? Her so-called friends know something. I wouldn't show these people nothing. My bad, Ira. Damn. Okay. I swear to God, in my life, I was just... You right, Ira. I'm tweaking. Don't show them. Sorry. I don't know. My bad, Ira. I love you, Ira. I ain't going to show them nothing. Whatever. Sorry. Heavy on everybody's heart. Um, yeah, body language is a motherfucker. Know the video that's on the Periscope. This is just ridiculous. I really wish that never happened to her, right? I want to show the interviews you could be putting their lives in danger. Um, why her friends so tight lift about it? 
It's either the body in the trash bag or her walking in the freezer. Yo, shorty did not walk in no fucking freezer. Stop saying that. Yo, I'm in the hotel now. Nigga, I went downstairs, right? Acting like I gotta fucking use the washroom or whatever just to see if I got access. That shit is locked. You need a key card. You need a key card or keys to get in the pool area or the motherfucking gym area, let alone the boiler room or the fucking kitchen. Come on, my nigga. Y'all know they just don't got no open access like that. You feel me? Like, be smart. Y'all know any fucking three-star, four-star, and damn sure four- and five-star hotel, they just don't have an open kitchen. What the fuck? You feel me? Like, come on. You can go in there and get cereal, drinks, liquor. Come on. They don't got that shit, my nigga. Like, somebody let her in there. Somebody led her in there. They let her in there and they led her in there. I'll come this way, follow us, go here. And they edit themselves out the videotape when they released it. Kanika Jikas didn't die by default. She didn't kill herself. She didn't get so overly intoxicated that she couldn't handle the liquor. Her friend said numerous times this wasn't her first go around drinking. It wasn't her second nor her third time. I'm not saying she's an alcoholic, but she, she turned. Even Irene told me she, they, they, they was a part of a clique. They turned up. Y'all know what it is when girls turn up. They take shots. They do do drinks. They, they feel them. They feel themselves. You feel me? Out of all these times, Kanika Jenkins drunks Hennessy. Why the fuck this particular time she died? Come on, man. Be real. They didn't try. In my personal opinion, the security or the niggas in the kitchen or whatever, the, the employees, the staff, they didn't try to kill her. It went too far. You feel me? They tried to do whatever they tried to do. And shorty started fighting their ass. And they started. End up killing her. Tried to come up with an alibi. So they're like, oh, let's put it in the freezer. So she walked in there. Think about it. Think about it. There's so many fucking comments. What do you say, bro? I'm starting to think you actually think you was just there. Sometimes you got to put yourself in the shoes. That's what I'm saying. Y'all got to put yourself in the shoes of these people. You got to stop thinking with emotion. Oh, I'm sad. Such and such. You got to think like a detective. You feel you gotta take it. You gotta put yourself there for real, but don't wear your heart on your sleeve. You understand? A man did a video where she was walking out the door and she never returned. But you see the security running, putting a sweater on and a white fork, walking around too. Facts. You believe Irene? I do. I ain't gonna lie. I work for a hotel and that hotel was was big as fuck. And if I was working the front desk and a mother came to my hotel looking for her, I would have helped her look for her daughter. If I didn't have shit to hide, exactly, exactly. My thing is, if you think that her friends didn't have anything to do with her death, why is it so hard for you to show the interviews with them? If they didn't have anything to do with it, that means that the interview should be should, should prove that. It's just saying not being rude or anything corny. I understand the same shit. I put up a text message, right? Two of them. Me talking to the guys and Irene like, yo, I want to drop the footage. I don't give no fuck about no... You, you know, like, you know when a lot of idiots, not talking to y'all, because most of y'all got sense, but a lot of, you know, people that's, that's, that, that, that really don't know the streets. When they say shit, see, y'all trying to just make, see if y'all solve the case or y'all saying shit like, oh, you got the footage, drop the footage, my nigga. It's a lot of people's lives at stake about this. So y'all could suck a dick and die about dropping footage, like. I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't give a fuck about y'all. I never see y'all in person in my life. You feel me? It's real kids who lives at stake. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you, you don't know how the, how the next motherfucker may feel like, oh, he said too much. Or she said too much. She did too much. Irene had to move out of Chicago because her life was threatened. Her kids' life was threatened. Um, her, her, her fucking family life was threatened. Y'all don't know how hard it is on these kids. So if they tell me because of reasons that... I may not know of you understand Zach, don't drop it or please wait or what I'm away. I don't get no fuck about this. You I care about the case, but I don't care about the views. I don't care about the you understand what I, like I said, I lost money taking on this case. A lot of money taking on this case. So it's not about that. You I just can't release some money. Like like look, before I Ray, my good friend I, I late I Ray, I was finna show y'all something and I Ray say don't show him shit. Then somebody else was like, Don't show him. I be want to show y'all. I swear to God. I, I race synced it. I be want to show y'all. Amber synced it. I be want to show y'all. It's just. Mm. 
So you the only one that don't disrespect him. What the fuck are y'all talking? Y'all are. I believe the kids is innocent, concrete, exactly. Definitely, case solved, exactly, exactly, exactly. People think she walked in the freezer too cool off the drugs. What? That sounds dumb as fuck. Come on, my nigga, like be real. Zach, bro, you should do a, a walkthrough of um Rosemont. They banned me from that hotel. They banned me. They banned me. Like I ain't going. Like they banned me. Um, let Irene off the hook, or so the. I believe them hotel workers led her to her death. They seen that she was lost and told her that they was gonna take her to her friends. They tried to mess. Exactly, cat. Exactly. That's a fact. You know the only reason we are watching was to see the interviews. Let's be honest. Serenity. You can kick rocks. I don't like. Come on, my nigga. Like, all y'all get on here and troll. Like, motherfuckers be getting on here and troll. I be, I be like, not all y'all. I get on y'all page. I go to y'all profile. I be saying like, how she look or how he look or how he living. A lot of y'all be miserable. So this is the first time y'all get to be big and bad. Y'all could beat up the keyboard and shit like that. So whatever, whatever makes y'all happy. I'm not arguing with nobody. I don't like. Come on, my nigga. Like. Follow my snap, my Instagram. See how I'm living in real life. So it's not about y'all crazy. Um, I didn't say that. Watch your tongue. Um, did any, everybody has signed a petition that has 50,000 signatures needed? It is already at 40 seconds. Okay, definitely. You cool people's love, Jessica. Did you interview all 30 people that was there? Nah, I didn't interview all 30 people. That's impossible, baby. I thought you wanted cloud at first, but you're cool peoples. I don't understand who started that. Like, the fuck is clout? Like, my nigga, like, one thing I'm going to tell you all, and I'm done with this. Rappers, singers, they come to me to get clout, my nigga. They come to me to get their name up. You understand what I'm saying? Google, like, somebody trying to be funny talk about Google them, and this came, like, like, nah, be, like, be real. It's not about clout, bro. It's really about helping these people. Nobody else took this case when seeing them, like, they spoke about it and left it alone. They wrote her little-ass article in the newspaper. A little-ass article. They didn't even make the front page. They don't care about us. So I salute Saul in here that, that was, like, really fighting for justice and trying to get answers. You understand what I'm saying? Even though y'all being this bitch tweak and argue with one another, it's a lot of people, and it's a lot of y'all, like 98% of y'all that really want to know what really happened. That's really concerned because this could have been your niece, your daughter, your sister, your mother, your grandchild, your friend, your cousin. Could have been anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to stick together on situations like this, and we got to know when it's the time to play and when it's the time to be serious. And right now, it's definitely a time to be serious because... If, if if this was a white woman, like John Bonet Ramsey, this shit would have been all over the news, nonstop. CIA, FBI, DEA, everybody would have been on top of this case. This is just a young, black, African American girl from the west side of Chicago, nineteen year old, nineteen years old. They don't give a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm being real, child. They don't get no fuck. We gotta care. We gotta step up to the plate and do what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So, um. I'm a, I'm a, when I get back to Chicago, I go I go back to Chicago next week. Um, after I leave Atlanta, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a talk to some 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 higher up people, not no regular policemen or whatever, because I feel them. I feel a lot of people not doing what they supposed to be doing for for this case as far as interviewing the staff. You understand and really going through this. Y'all know they they y'all know they supposed to um close the case. Did y'all hear that? They supposed to close the fucking case, my nigga. Come on, bro. This is not it's not a coincidence that other 36, even though they said it was some other footage left, they released the shit after her funeral. They closed the case, man, and they thought motherfuckers didn't realize it or didn't know about it. That's probably why the mother went back out there and started protesting because she knew some shit. You understand what I'm saying? That we didn't know. We don't know everything. Like 90% of y'all probably not even in Chicago. You know, I didn't see the Nigga, I saw a handful of motherfuckers that's in this group out there protesting when I was out there. When I was out there, Fred Hampton was out there, Jedediah Brown was out there, um, Luther was out there, some of the freedom fighters, freedom fighters was out there. I ain't seen none of y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Like, 
It's a lot of shit we don't know because I didn't I didn't know a lot of shit. I was hearing bits and pieces from different people telling me this and telling me that. Bro, when it all boils down, no motherfuckers in that hotel kill Kanika Jenkins. They kill her. I don't care what nobody say. You can't make me to believe anything. Bro, I went through these fucking tapes like 40, 50 times, nigga. Looking at all, all, all this shit. Looking at body language, even at the funeral. When the funeral was over, how motherfuckers was like, I'm like, damn, how should he laughing like that? Like, you know, it was funny. But sometimes you got to smile to have from crying. I, I, I don't know how she control her emotions. We live in a whole different type of era. Kids ain't kids anymore. You understand? Kids doing shit that grown-ups not doing right now. So, I don't know. Just please, in my opinion, Irene, Monifa, Bree Bree, T.Y., Pete, all them. Show them innocent, man. Show them didn't do shit. Y'all fucking up them kids' lives by steady saying that they did it. Fuck them. Do this, do that. They didn't do that. They didn't do that. Black people don't even kill like that. They don't even know how to do shit like that and put a body in the freezer. For what? The only time we going in the freezer when we finna get some meat to, th to throw out to throw out, or go get some ice for our, for our drink. Certain them didn't do that. I'm going to stick it back at my word. I love y'all. Zach TV for life. Um, and continue, continue to fight for justice. It's the biggest group. This the biggest Kanika Jenkins discussion group on, on the internet, and I love it. It'd it be a lot of like <laughs> arguments and opinions and shit like that, but I, I fuck with y'all. Like a lot of y'all be saying a lot of funny shit, a lot of funny shit. Like it's really about Kanika. Sorry, I've uploaded like what was that five six days ago? I was doing it on some troll shit. Let me. Uh, y'all want to play? I'm gonna I'm show y'all. I'm gonna upload pictures since y'all want to talk. It's not about me. This shit is bigger than me. It's not about you. It's, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than us. You understand? This case unified the the world. Y'all you know, you know how many people be in my inbox and being from Yugoslavia, Africa, Ethiopia, uh, uh, London, U U Ukraine, um, Bosnia, literally, and all over America. Like, this unified people. I never thought these many people in the world would come together over a little black girl. You understand? But that's because the world know. She didn't kill herself. The world knows she just didn't die of natural causes. The world knows she was killed. And we just all trying to find justice. You know what I'm saying? So we came together for one common goal. And I salute y'all and I appreciate y'all for that. I love y'all. And definitely big shout out to Amber for letting me see her page to go live on her. You know? Mm -hmm. Sex, Sex TV, man. I love y'all. Um... And I'm not going to, who are you, Zach TV? <laughs> I'm not going, and I'm not going to delete this. I'll delete every live. I'm going to leave this up here. Yo, them kids is innocent. Them kids is innocent. Them kids is innocent. The police don't really know about it because they just going off the security guard word. The owner, he ain't finna risk his fucking multi-billion dollar corporation, a million dollar hotel business for a young black girl just for her organ so y'all could cut it with the organ, trafficking and shit like that. The security, the security, the security. I'm not going to tell you, I swear to God on my life, I had, from a guy I interviewed who was in the room, he, he t smart kid, he took, he ain't even a kid, like 20 something, he took a picture of the security guard and sent it to my phone, like this was like, cause I, you know, I was interrogating him, it wasn't just an interview, I was interrogating him, like if these niggas is guilty, I'm going to make him look guilty, I'm going to find out on camera, but it wasn't that, you don't, you understand what I'm saying, they were, they, they're not guilty. But they had pictures of the um of the security guard, my nigga. And he looked like a creep. He looked like a creep, man. You know, he's a short, no race shit whatsoever. But he was a short Hispanic guy. You know, a little, let me touch your booty. What are them type of dudes, man? You could tell. Short, stubby, little belly. You understand what I'm saying? Looked like he didn't shave. He wanted them motherfuckers. They probably drugged her, thinking they was going to get an easy whatever out of her. Let me fill on you. Let me touch you. Let me have sex. Whatever. And Shorty wasn't going. Shorty started fighting. Put up a fight. They started fighting and accidentally killed her. Man. J4K for life. Justice for Kanika. For life. Mm. Mm. Holla at y'all, man. I appreciate everybody. Um.
for tuning in. I appreciate everybody for liking. Man, if y'all can, if y'all agree with the shit, if y'all agree with everything that I'm saying, shut it. Let this be known. Spread the word. So they didn't kill ourselves and people in the building. You know what I'm saying? Is responsible, is fully responsible for this. Because Nicky Jig is deaf. You know? Keep protesting. If I was in Chicago, I'd definitely go out there and let my voice be heard and protest. If y'all ain't got nothing to do and y'all in the Chicago area, definitely go go support um, her mother. You understand what I'm saying? Go support the sister Lenora. Do what y'all can. You understand what I'm saying? But this is America. We all seen what happened when John Benet Ramsey got killed. We, I'm not playing a race card, but let's be real. This was a white girl. This shit, this, this shit, this case would have been far from over. Come on, man. I don't get no fuck. You understand what I'm saying? I'm out. This is crazy. I'm definitely not miserable. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Y'all don't hear arguing? What? I'm so mad at you, Zach. Get ready to argue in your inbox. I'm not finna argue. I got a video shoot. I'm in. It's 1237 where I'm at right now. I don't know what the fuck type of time it was. It's 1237. I gotta get ready. I'm finna go to the. Make an appearance. People irritate because they believe you, brother. Don't get angry. Zach, your theory makes the most sense. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. You have to bring up the cops so arrest can be made. Exactly. Yeah, and that's a fact. She walked out the front. True, Zach. They don't get it, Zach. I follow you on YouTube before all this. Shout out, Cat. What's up? Shout out. Cat, it was funny when people was like, yo, he doing this for views and subscribers. I'm like, y'all been doing this shit for years. What y'all talk about? This, this is America, yeah. They can't beat you. They gonna make up lies about you. You gotta keep it alive, Zach. I'm trying to work on it. You cool than a mug, Zach. You no hater. Um, who gonna hate you? You got a great heart. That's the truth. I hardly see anybody on the news. They don't put this shit on the news. They swept under the rug. You got my respect now. I oh, appreciate it. Okay. I definitely need closure on this, but I blame Onifa. Don't blame Onifa. Don't blame Shorty. Zach, I'm coming to follow your page. I only, and, and once again, it's not about no. F I'm not trying to get no follows. I don't give a fuck about follows. I don't get paid off. Fucking Facebook, I don't get paid off this fucking YouTube. I don't care about that shit. So I don't care I don't care about that. There's none of the social media shit with y'all think. That's for my my personal business. That's nothing with the Kanika Jenkins. So anything that I got, any information and videos I want y'all to see that's pertaining to the Kanika Jenkins case, I'm gonna post it in this group. I'm not gonna say go follow me on here, go log on, like nah. Like nah. Yo, y'all do that shit on your own time. But anything about Miss Jenkins, I'm gonna put it in here, baby. You know, justice for Kanika Jenkins, for real, for real. That's what's up, we are family. Wow. I saw a lab they was out protesting. Somebody, one of the protesters stole a couple that was walking past about the Kanika Jenkins case and they didn't even know what happened. That's fucked up. It made the news in Philly, every single channel. That's how I found out about it. Yeah, it made the news. But it, it it's not constantly talked about. Like, this should just still be on. Like, we still don't know the cause of death for her. Come on. Let's be real, man. I honestly can't believe that it's not making national news. Me neither. I got a baby girl, so I want to know respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I felt the cops were in on it from the start. Get off live so I can watch it, please. For sure. This case shouldn't be closed. I said the same thing. Man, you are so bold as fuck, my boy, putting your life on the line. And these dumb motherfuckers don't understand how dangerous this is, man. I salute. Yo, Corey, man, a lot of people not going to understand, you know. I read some dude, a black a black brother in this group, he was going crazy on me. Like, it's probably like three hours ago when I said somebody inboxed me, I got to tell y'all something. Oh, fuck you, you liar. 
I'm looking like, yo, where the admin at? Get him out of here. He disrespecting the God. Get him out of here. Nah. It's so little, though, whatever. They talked about Jesus. Justice is coming, believe that. That's a fact. Um, yeah, they do that. They don't give a fuck. Facts. I wonder if it was a biracial, how did it be? We all feel alive. Mm. FBI is coming, watch it. My dude with the truth, love Christian. If you don't if you don't catch the laugh now, you won't see it. He's not saving it. Tiki, I don't know. I'm gonna keep this up for a minute. I'm finna Yandy Smith from um Loving Hip Hop is throwing a party tonight. Um so I'm finna slap the her shit. If you're in the New, New York area pop out tonight. So I'm gonna be up for a minute. I gotta take a shower. Or whatever. And get out of here. Her mother, what the fuck? Her mother said she felt someone in the hotel kill her. Kill her from the beginning. What? She said that? Cash, she said that? Her mother said, I hope you just, I hope this is a fact. Her mother said something. That's strong. I didn't know that. It's too temperate with evidence. The mother knows the second private autopsy by her is her is in her possession. We are never going to know. The security in the tapes was the same one with Jedediah when we went up there. He came out and moved across the room. He looked like a foreigner or Hispanic guy with short haircut. I told you. I told you I got the picture of the nigga. Sorry, well, not the nigga. I got the picture of him. He looked like he's a Hispanic. I told you. He is Hispanic. He's short. I got two pictures. I got a picture of him in front of like a, a shuttle bus to take you to the airport. And I got another picture of him like dodging the camera running behind the um, shuttle bus that the kids that was in the hotel they took of him because they said he looked creepy he put his life on the line trying to figure this case out and y'all got so much to say about him how he chasing cloud and he already has fans they don't understand bro I don't know mm, it was a setup as a fact if they didn't do it then drop the <laughs> in the hood you learn to be tough like your mama did you interview a hotel employee, Jasmine? So, if y'all was following me on the, um, the fuck I was talking about this. Oh, I think I was talking on my Facebook. Like, yeah, I'm finna set it up, such and such, I set it up. Talked to him at first, he was like, nah. Then he finally agreed. Yo, I'm talking about retaxing, we emailing. I'm keeping him close. You know what I'm saying? Keeping him close to make sure I get this out of him. Yo, the day of, he stopped answering his calls, the text messages, and the emails. The day of, bro. So, that shit really made my attendance go up. Like, bro, come on, man. Why would you just lead me on to nothing? Unless you knew from the start you weren't going you weren't, you weren't going to fuck with me. You just wanted me to 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 to, to think. You know what I'm saying? Are right, he finna do it? Like nobody gave you. Like he ain't give me shit. He denied his shit. You know. I don't know you, Zach, but people said you were off on some people. That's why you was blocked. But remember, you gonna always have people hating on you, no matter who you are. Don't get on their level. So hold it together for yeah. What's up? Yeah, that's their opinion. It's all up. Do your thing, bro. Shout out to you. Then you see how do it in a white. Just go right to the freezer. I saw that. That shit was creepy. These tips are made to create reasonable doubt. They can't pin it one way or another, and they succeeded putting these tapes out and cream mayhem over these tapes. That's a fact. It's a fact. Love Zach, be safe. You too. I believe the hotel did it, but with all the theories, I'm confusing. Especially since we don't know our really side, but it is what it is. But tell me this: Why are y'all so, so, so like stuck on hearing Irene's side? Yo, it was a lot of people in that room. Irene was just the person, one of the people that y'all know who Facebook Live video happened to go viral, bro. From my understanding, it was over 20 people that went live, you know, from Instagram live. I know Instagram got live and Facebook live, but y'all just stuck on Irene. Bro, y'all like, y'all don't talk about not saying Shorty did it, but y'all don't talk about Bree Bree. Y'all don't talk about Shamaya. Like, it was a lot of other more, more substantial people in there. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you this. Irene left before the party was actually over. She was gone. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so when y'all be saying that, I be, I be want to tell y'all so, like, what the fuck? She wasn't the last person in there. You understand what I'm saying? Irene left. 
Who drugged that in? We appreciate you. I appreciate you too, sister. Oh my God, she said he's saying, and I'm trying to answer questions, yo. Whoever drew it, I need to do some time. Very logical, yes it is. Wow, Jamaica said the kids is not innocent. That's crazy, Jamaica. That's crazy. How, Jamaica? I wish you would. Can I call people on here? Can I invite somebody on this live? How can I invite somebody? My shit. Come on on. I'm inviting people. I should have been did this. Answer. She didn't answer. What? How? I'm trying to invite somebody. I just I just tried to call the she didn't answer. Somebody named Jake said they're not innocent either. I'm trying to invite somebody right now. Chloe in the room. Exactly why they would create reasonable doubt, pay attention to the truth and so. Let me go all the way down. Damn, there's so many comments. This is ridiculous. Well, not ridiculous because I appreciate your insight. Can I say something? Say something. How can I? I I'm about to invite somebody. I read what I read today. Oh, the video button. Ain't no video button. It's a, look, okay, I hit it. It's an invite. Okay, I'm inviting, I'm, I'm inviting somebody right now. The guest declined the, the live video invitation. I swear to God. <laughs> what the fuck is y'all declining for? Who is Taj? Where is Taj at? Oh, here she go. Let me invite her. Invite her Taj. Let's see if she answers. Yo. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I rake it on my nerves. Yo, yo, Taj. Are you, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you get in the camera? Like we, like we got a lot of people looking. Uh uh, I'm not about to get in this camera. Like sweetheart, it's not about looks, sweetheart. It's about justice. Like we try to be a pain. Zach, shut up. Okay, just cause, just cause you got your hair again, and you about to pop out tonight, don't mean nothing. But okay, this case, this case is getting on my nerves now. It's too much. I, I don't trust none of them. Don't but be sticking. Don't be sticking up for um. Irene and, and Bree Bree and Monique and them. So I'm saying, don't everything what I say doesn't it make sense, right? Yeah, it makes sense. But what I don't understand is if that girl man died, would you would you take her out the window? If I'm if I'm coming with somewhere with somebody, we leave them together. Whether I heard that she had to leave her, she left her phone or her keys upstairs or whatever. Why it take all y'all? Even if y'all was leaving, why it take all y'all to go get her stuff? You telling me can nobody stay with her? I mean, you you right, but who thinking like my friend gonna end up missing? Oh, somebody stay with her. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but what if what if, what if, what if, what, what if the other girl had to take a piss and why the other one? Picked up her phone. What if the other girl wanted to give her number to a nigga in the party? It's a you gotta be think logical about this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I just I don't think Shorty and them did. I don't think they had nothing. No, to do. I understand what you're saying, but you know it's a lot of people that's that's trying to put they trying to put they shoes in a situation. Oh, this is what I would have did. But you're right. Everybody don't think like that. So. Me personally, if my friend got to use the bathroom, I'm gonna go with her. If she drunk and she can't handle 
she can't stand up. I'm gonna stay right with her. One of y'all could go get her keys. One, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but once again, sweetheart, a lot of people don't think like you. You feel me? Everybody don't think. Everybody is different. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't think like you. A lot of people don't think like me. But I understand where you where, where you coming from. Right. And don't speak of these videos, interviews, no more. You know they go keep going at you for these interviews. Oh, so yeah. I don't care. I just interviewed an uh, artist today that sent to um, Rock Nation. So, like, I'm back on my rap shit. Like, you feel me? So, it's all love. I appreciate the, the support, okay? Okay. All right. Stay blessed, sweetheart. All right. You too. All right. All right, so y'all heard her. Um, she was set up all around. In public. Everyone should have left, Julian said. Wow, okay. And me. Brittany Everson. Bless, you want to say something? Okay, hold on. What's up? What's the word? Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. So, um, my issue is she got drugged in that room. The girl, um, what's her name? Tanisha. Mm -hmm. She went in the bathroom and she made a drink and she was staring it up and she walked out of the bathroom. She said, I'm finna get this to that girl over there. She was talking to the guy that was Femme in the red shirt with a gap in between his mouth. And let me tell you what she did. So the girl that was beside her, she was like, okay, what girl? And so she came out the bathroom with that drink in her right hand. Go back and look at the video. She um she went where Kanika was sitting and she put that down and came back up with the with Kanika's drink in her left hand. And and but the girl was looking at the guy and she missed it. And if you can remember in the video also, before that happened, I don't know if Monifa was trying to give Kanika something, but Kanika said, what is that? What is that? That's what she said. Go back and look at that video, the guy that was filming in the red shirt. And why was the the guy in the, in the white shirt, why was he following her all through the hotel? Do you actually think Honestly, he was following her, or you think the footage was just edited to just try to pinpoint it to make us think he was following her? I don't know. Don't believe. I don't know. Don't believe everything. You understand what I'm saying? We already realized that the footage is edited. So, you know what I'm saying? The 36 hours, how many people are going to really spend 36 hours out their life to watch some tapes? Like, if you really watch all 36 hours, you're going to notice that the fucking security guard or oh, the maintenance man first he dropped his fucking um vacuum in the hallway then he go downstairs it, that maintenance man that shit was kind of weird so y'all know something because y'all cleaning these hotels and rooms y'all see nigga right or wrong Def okay let me ask you this so the guy the security guy that kept doing all the running and just doing weird shit he was the same one that was in the room when they found her mm -hmm. That was looking into the camera. Was he the same guy? Uh, hold up, say it again. You said that's the security guard that found her. Okay, so the night um, when she was walking in the hall, there was a security guy that, um, and I watched the video last night. Um, this Jamaican guy, he was saying that the Mexican guy, I guess he was Mexican, I guess, I don't know, but he kept doing weird shit running down the hall, running back and forth, like he was looking for her, right? But, right. um, and you could see at one point he went and got a, a coat and put on. And the Jamaican guy was saying that's where he went to go put her in the freezer. If you Go back and look at the video where the guy um, put on a coat or whatnot. But what I'm saying is um the the security guard that was do, that was running doing all the crazy stuff was he the same guy when they found her that was down there with them is he the same guy because he he looked in the camera 
He kept looking in the cameras like he was just looking crazy. Who I don't know. I ain't go front. That's a great question. Is he the same guy that was telling them put the towel under the door and shit like that? Is that the yes. same? Is that the same guy? I don't. A question like that, you have to see how many security guards work overnight. Normally, it's just I don't. I can't say two. I don't know, it could be one or two. Who knows? But that's a good question, sweetheart. That's a great question. I like the way you think. But was that him, y'all? What y'all think? Okay. Somebody saying yes. I see somebody saying no. I don't know. It was just weird. Like, him running and all that. He was so he was looking so fucking suspect. Like, why is you running through here? Like, what, what the hell? Yeah, that's crazy. Let me, um, let me, sweetheart, let me, let me see what Jasmine want to say real quick. Okay, I'm gonna get you back. Okay. All right, bye. All right, thank you. No problem. Right, no problem. Let's see, Jasmine. Let's see what you talk about. I really want all the fucking trollers to look, look log on. Everybody that trolled. I'm inviting you. Come on. Okay, he, she declined. Let's see what Kilani. Kilani, answer, because you could talk a lot of shit. Please answer, motherfucker. He declined. <laughs> so these niggas, they, they gonna be good at beating up the keyboard. Fucking hand behind fake pages and shit. Damn, four people just declined. It's crazy. <laughs> Add me, Brittany. Let me see. Damn, five people just declined. It's crazy. I'm starting to think this whole room full of fake people. Like, word, who is who got a real page on it? Ed Camry. I don't want to get up from my face in the camera. <laughs> so, like, once again, sweetheart, it's about justice for Kanika. We're not here for about a fashion show. Like, speak to justice. I honestly do not think that them people drugged her. Like, like us being teenagers, that's what we do, you feel me? We get drunk, we pop pills, we smoke weed, you feel me? We go overboard. Them people did not drug that girl. She just had too much of the stuff or whatever. And I honestly don't think that she walked in that freezer by herself. Somebody definitely led her to that freezer. You feel me? You okay. know where I'm coming from. Everybody keeps saying on oh, her friends drugged her. No, they did not drug her. That's just how it turned up. And if you, go through her pictures, if you go through her pictures, you can see that's how she turned up. Mm. That makes sense. It makes sense. I saw her picture. She was turning up. I saw that. I said that. She been drinking. You know? Yes. Well, I appreciate you. Anything else you want to say, sweetheart? No, that's all I got to say. I just want them to stop saying her friends drug her because they didn't. <laughs> well, all right. That's what's up. I appreciate you. You stay blessed, all right? You too. Right, good looking. One look. All right. Bella. Answer, Bella. Dominique, next. Serenity, Jody, Ira, answer. Speak your piece. Okay, she not answering. Scroll down the line. Answer. She said, Maria, you say you think they declined because they fake? Yeah, they fake pages. Who the fuck? Yo got all the shit to say. All the shit to say. Justin. Yo, what up, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, you think man, I'm saying you all um, on that talking, man. You think you know anybody at the hotel has something to do with your crib getting broken to? Listen, look, I'm gonna turn my head to the side for this, my bro. You know how many people said that? <laughs> I swear to God, I was in New York. I put a tweet out and then I put it on Facebook. I say I'm a, when I get back to Chicago. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna take over the Kanika Jenkins case, bro. I deal with thugs, gangsters, rappers. I've been doing this shit for years, and shit never happened to my equipment, my crib. The moment I say I'm taking mm -hmm. this case, my crib. Bro, come on, bro. And I got a weird ass email that said the I took Kanika, and if you release the footage, you could be next. Like it was all type of weird shit that was happening. So 
I don't know. I don't push shit past nobody. I believe in that shit, you know? Man, that shit weird as fuck. The whole situation just fool. Exactly, exactly. I don't know, bro. Just keep doing, doing what you got to do, man. Just, man, you got to watch these people, man. Most definitely. Most definitely, man. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate it. Much, much love. Uh, please add me. All right, Tanika, I'm calling you right now. All right, so listen, I got a lot of different theories about what I think or what I believe about this story because there's so many different angles that this can go, right? But at the same time, when I seen this one video, when he was saying that, okay, it was three guys and they were saying that they lured her to go for some reason, maybe they used a gun or a knife or they thought they was going to kill her or whatever the case may be to leave out that hotel. You understand? Everybody's saying that's not her, that's not her. But it's, it looks like it's her to me because of her frame, her body shape. You understand what I'm saying? Because this girl was not thick. She's small. I'm small too. You understand? So I get it. So when she was walking out the room, I'm like, God, that kind of look like her, right? So right. they was like, everybody was like, nah, she got on different shoes. She got on different uh, pair of shoes and she got on a different pair of pants. True, she did. But you don't know. They could have made this girl change her shoes. They could have made her change her uh, pants and all of that shit she had on the same jacket. Her hair was shorter, but it could have been stuck inside of her jacket as well. You know what I'm saying? We don't really know because it was kind of blurry. You couldn't even really see her face for real. So you don't know if that was her. No, what I was understanding from this video was, hey, maybe they did take her out. You understand? They probably took her out and did whatever they was going to do to her and made this phone call to the damn security and let him know, shit, we got the shit popping, you understand? And he ran out there with his fucking jacket on, put on his little hoodie and shit, and went open the door. So now everybody running around looking for Kanika. Where's she at? Where's she at? But he know what's going on. You understand? He's doing everything but securing the damn room. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. He's running back and forth. Of course, they had bags and all that shit. Yeah, Okay, granted, they did have trash bags and all that. All that shit looks suspicious. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The whole tapes, all of the tapes look suspicious to me. You understand? But that's just my theory on this one video that I've seen, and it just made me rethink everything that I thought about the situation. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because if they stage the shit, it's like, I don't know why they would do that. Like, I just make me confused as to, I don't know what the fuck is really going on. You know what I'm saying? So it's just got me like, you know, Yo, it's got you thinking. Like, you don't get it. I don't get it. I know. It's it's making all us think. I, and this is totally off subject, but where you from? You got a crazy accent. New Orleans? Nah, I'm from Baltimore. Be more. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I just did a video shoot out there at Mont Dorman Mall. You familiar? Yeah, I know Mont Dorman Mall. Yeah, I was just, I was just, I was just, <laughs> money with some niggas out there but that's what's up i appreciate you um and and, and your input makes a lot of sense we i want you to stay blessed and stay fight for justice okay all right you take care one love okay that's what's up um wow she made a lot of sense shout out to be more please add me bella did i add bella already Dominique, what's up? Um, I just want to say that if everybody pay attention, Kanika herself actually shed a lot of light on some dark shit. Due to the fact that any of this shit took place, it got motherfuckers thinking. And if you ain't ever thought before, you thinking deeper than you've ever thought before. Me personally, why I put my right. face on the camera because I could get two fucks about anybody's opinion of me. Therefore, I say if we saying justice for Kanika, why is it that we allowing pride and ego to keep us separated or to keep us divided? If we're saying justice for Kanika, what is what is the, the argument for? Everybody has their opinion. The matter of having an opinion is understanding that you don't have to agree, but you definitely can respect it. For the most part, Kanika herself, you got to think about it. 
Yeah, everybody's saying Shorty's frame was the same frame. No, it's not. Shorty's frame was slim as fuck. Then you get her in the video, and she thick as fuck. How? You know what I'm saying? She, the way she was walking around, she was definitely drugged in that room. The way she was walking around in that hallway, the way she was stumbling all over the place, the way that she was falling forward. Come on now. Y'all got to pay attention to this. We, we literally battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and wickedness in high places. Rosemont is in a position right now where politically... All they give a fuck about is where they seat is. So they, they want to win their seats in office. They don't care. Hello? They don't care about shorty man. They, they, all this shit, everything, everything got something to tie into this. Ain't shit happening for no reason. Everything happening for one reason and one reason being God. That's, that's period point blank with this. This shit ain't sitting well in our spirit. It ain't got nothing to do with what you what you seeing. It's what you feeling. This shit ain't sitting well in our spirit. So therefore, we got to pray for a spirit of discernment. We really want answers. We really got to go to the one that got all the answers. Everybody sitting up on here with their opinions. We got the videos. We can't even depend on the videos. Believe none of what you see, half of what you hear. You know what I'm saying? Because we already, we, we've been fooled. You know what I'm saying? It's a wool being pulled over our eyes for the most part. And I'm not finna sit here and act like I'm blind. I'm not finna sit here and act like motherfuckers got me scared. Fuck up out of here with that shit, bro. I got kids. This shit is real. They, they inherit all of this shit. So therefore, if we sit here quiet, if we sit here and keep on allowing them to, to, to think that they can keep pulling the wool over our eyes, bro, they, they display us as savages. They make it seem like ain't nothing good that can come out of us except us killing off one another. But look at us going so hard for Kanika. Look at us going so hard for her. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this hit, this hit home. This could have been my sister. It could have been me. I remember being outside in Roseland when Roseland was having all of the shit they was going on. You know what I'm saying? This shit easily could it hit home. I'm not finna wait for the Grim Reaper to reach my door. Yo, 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 where you from? I'm from Chicago. I'm okay. I'm from Chicago. What what hood? I'm from the Hunters. I'm from Rosen. Where you from? I'm from the South Suburbs. I'm from the Heights. I'm from Madison area, Richmond Park, Park Forest. I'm familiar with, with with Lincoln Highway. I'm familiar. I'm familiar, and, and you speaking a lot of righteous, uh, a lot of righteous shit, sister. And God bless you. Um. And everything you're saying is right. It's a higher power. We up here opinionated and we argue with one another when we need to come together and realize what's really what's really going on. I, I understand and I For and real, I it's it's the divide and conquer tactic, man. We gotta look at it. This the divide and conquer tactic. If, if if they can't pin us against one another, then they gonna do everything they can, bro. This shit ain't no black and white. This shit good and evil. Which side you walking on? You know what I'm saying? What side are you paying attention to? Those that are saying, oh, well, I just don't think that her, man, she was set up all the way the fuck around. She was set up all the way around. This is why it's not sitting well in the spirit. God, no. God, no. This is why it's not sitting well in the spirit. They gonna keep cutting the videos. They gonna keep putting, putting, putting motherfuckers' names up underneath the rug and, and running it through the dirt because that's how they want, they want motherfuckers, they, they, if you care about your image and how you are portrayed to people, trust me, you ain't gonna stand in this shit when we talking about justice for Kanika, because I don't get no fuck. At the end of the day, ain't nobody gonna keep my mouth closed. Shorty deserve justice. She ain't deserve none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? When, when I went out there the very first day for the protest, you, know, you could feel her spirit. You, you can feel her like she was screaming. You could feel her that fight. You could, I could feel that. I'm my motherfucking sister's keeper. This is real for me. This ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got your trolls up in here. I'm definitely looking for a way to create another group. But either way it go, no matter how many groups you create, you still gonna have motherfuckers coming in. And, and, and not really, not really dedicated to this shit. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't get no sleep. I'm up right now because I'm still searching through the internet 
on YouTube, Google. Yeah, I'm looking for shit. And I'm, I'm searching. And he said, seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given. Knocking is going to be open. Yeah. Every night I go to sleep, I pray for an answer when I wake up in the morning. And something else is revealed. This is deeper than the surface. We think it's just some physical shit. No, this physical war that's going on can't exist without that spiritual war. And until our people wake the fuck up and see what it really is. We not just human, B. We spiritual people. This is why they attack us. This is why they come for us. This is why they want us. But we gonna keep on acting like we don't see this. We gonna keep. I, I'm untouchable. I'm unstoppable as child of the Most High Yah. This I know. So therefore, they already know. Like man, no, these people should still be asleep. They thought we was gonna stay asleep. They thought Shorty ain't have a mama that was gonna come looking for her immediately. Her mama came immediately. They wasn't expecting none of that shit. They wasn't expecting this shit to turn out. They thought she was just gonna be a lost soul. They thought she was just going to be swept up under the rug like everybody else that ended up missing. Hell no, nah, shorty, shorty shed a light on a lot of shit. You know, how many people actually knew that organ trafficking had been going on two years prior in this motherfucking hotel? None. Then everybody got to researching. Then everybody got to thinking. You get to thinking, this man's hotels is down there 20 to 30 minutes away from the projects. Every project. So then you go do the research, you find out who missing from where, you going to find out where all the trail lead to. Bro, this shit ain't, this shit ain't rocket science. This shit is not rocket science. It's not rocket science. This real. So, 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 man, man, you ain't the only one. And to everybody else out there that's feeling this same way, don't give up, man. Don't let your spirit become fearful. This the moment where we supposed to be turning fear into faith. We supposed to be showing them, bro. We the, we the underdogs. We literally are the underdogs. And the main motherfuckers, everybody doubted. We the same savages that's trying to get justice while they trying to cover the shit up. Real talk. I salute you, sister. You spoke nothing but facts. God bless you. And you stay blessed and keep fighting for justice for Kanika. You be blessed too, man. Love, sis. Love. That girl just spoke some facts. Now, where's this Bella chick? If I see another comment, is that why he down there mopping that photo? I would wash his ass and over with. Oh, is this her? My name, the Camry Bella. Let's see what she got. Answer. I don't know why they keep getting. <laughs> oh, hold up! You are oh, you already had a chance. What the? Yes, are you... I don't know why they want me on here. Where are you from? I'm from the neck. From where? The neck. What? You got a nappy hair? What you say? I'm from Indianapolis. Oh, right. nap town. Okay, well, they 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 ask you to come back. You got some more things to say or something? I don't know what I got to say. I mean, when I you feel when I first found out about the story, I, I had a lot to say. I mean, you just said everything. They just said everything. Okay. Um. You good? What she say? Some about your kids. <laughs> Where's your kids? I don't have no kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think this. I'm sorry. I think you're the wrong Bella. My bad. I'm gonna call you back. Okay. You don't got to. <laughs> I wasn't, baby. I wasn't. I was just trying to get you off. Shout out to you. Shout out to the... I want to get Al Ray on here. I got to get Al Ray. Okay, somebody not answer. Y'all y'all say call y'all, but y'all don't answer. I don't understand this. Where's Maria? Who is Bella? I don't see a Bella. Hey, what I'm... up, bro? What's up, sis? What's the word? In the bed. <laughs> What's your thoughts on this, Irie? Man, I got a lot of thoughts, man. Um... My theories change every day, man. Every day it changes, bro. Um, I think the security guard got a lot to do with it, man. Facts. I still think her friend's foul, though, bro. I don't know, man. For what? Why are they foul? I mean, they just foul all around the board. You feel me? They just foul all around the board, but... um. 
like you said, I didn't really sit there and watch every second of the 36 hours. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I didn't do that. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't really speak on things that other people may have seen that I didn't. But on some real shit, the security guard, like you said, the maintenance man, that's what we need to be looking at. Exactly. On some real shit. I think we done I think we already done cracked this case. They just trying to detour us to be completely honest. Wow. Hey, I that's my- I found the I re- I'm sorry, I found the girl named Bella. Is this who y'all want to go live? Yeah, go ahead and throw Bella in there, man. You're gonna have to hit me up when I do myself up tomorrow, bro. I got you, sis. You stay blessed. Yep, you too. Bella Landry. It's your time to shine, baby. Come on in. <clears throat> see what everybody keep adding you for. Let's see what you're talking. She must be a cop or something. I'm inviting her. Bella, what's up? Hi. Okay, so I really do not think if she was staggering or whatever else they said she was doing, how did she get the strength to open that freezer? True. Hello. And 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 I said the same thing. How does she have the strength to open the door? Exactly, Bella. Exactly. 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 Okay, they said no one can hear her. Um, let me try to fix that. I'll try to fix that. I'm sorry, guys. I think she was on a Boost mobile phone. Um, so we're going to try to let her sign into Wi Fi and get her back on here. That's crazy. No one can hear her. Wow. I'm trying to get her to. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, we shouldn't add fake pay to this group. Bro, I just hit probably like 30 people up here. Nope, nobody's answering. Twelve don't want us to hear Patricia, huh? Somebody said she had old Obama for y'all petty. Okay, so I just have so much to say. Like, I'm from Detroit or whatever. <clears throat> and this situation, like, touches me so much because I was around, like, I had a cousin that came up missing within the middle of that Rosemont shit, and they found her fucking hand in Rosemont. 
they found thousands of body parts in Detroit, in a warehouse, and it led back to Rosemont, five minutes from that hotel. They were trafficking those people and kidnapping people. Like hundreds of people have been coming up missing in Michigan, and people don't even know this. Like, and I feel like there's no way in hell you cannot tell me that they had over 30 kids in a fucking hotel room screaming and rapping to the top of their fucking lungs and security was not watching that camera the entire time. They saw her walking the entire time. There's no way you can lead me to believe that they did not know that that girl was in the freezer. That's why they didn't help her mother. That's why she was found in the freezer because they were reserving her fucking organs to take them from her body. This shit is deep, dog. They've been doing this for years, dog. And I'm not even, like, this shit is really touching me because at her age, I was Kanika. I was that sloppy, drunk-ass friend. Thank God I had friends. Yeah, but look, look. Gave a I how drunk, and all, all honesty, how drunk were you? Were you to the, no disrespect, were you drunk to the point that you pissed and didn't feel it coming down your leg or were you drunk to the point that you had sex and didn't realize you were pregnant no I was never that drunk to where I would walk into a fucking freezer or none of that never in history if I had to pee I'd pee outside and squat before I fucking walk into a freezer looking for a bathroom like it's no way in hell that she walked into that freezer at her own fucking will no way in hell. It just makes too much sense about the Oregon shit to me because I lost somebody who was found in the midst of that shit. So I know that shit is going on in Rose now, five minutes from that damn hotel. That's my whole thing. And I just feel like that's why they didn't let the mama that why they were so eager to help the mama, all of that. She was already dead when that mama, they didn't think, they thought that was going to be another missing person. She would have sat in that freezer for weeks. They thought wow. that was going to be another mystery. Do you know how much they can get for black people's organs? It's a whole lot of black market that they, like, if you, even if you a donor, like, don't ever say that you a donor on your license. None of that. They will set some shit up to have you fucking killed. The government is not no fucking joke. This type of shit. Like, they can easily cover this type of shit. And I'm like, I haven't gotten no sleep. I've been following this case since the beginning. Like, ever since this has started, I've been following this case because I relate to it on so many levels. I was that friend that was drunk, but I, all my friends always had my back. Like, dog didn't let me leave their sight. That's why I'm so mad at her friends. So, tell me, I feel like so since, never so, my own. Since, since you're from Detroit, um, have you ever heard of the, of the Detroit Cheddar Boys? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Cheddar Boy, oh. Malik, all of them. Oh boy, I know. Yeah, yeah. Malik. Yeah. Super dope. Super dope. So, yeah, ten minutes was quick. I really appreciate you calling in, sis. We're gonna get to the next call. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. Mm, wow, this is interesting. Mm. Another person. Everybody got some, some crazy thoughts and conspiracies and shit like that. Your body is worth two million not including your skin. Mm -hmm. She said she was so drunk she thought she was invisible. That's crazy. Still laughing at the popcorn. Why nobody's So it's probably a lot of y'all that got great 
you know what I'm saying, great like conclusions and, and details and summaries, but I guess because y'all not fucking dressed, y'all not answering y'all phone or whatever, but it's whatever. J Feeder, who is that? She said I got your invite. Right. I declined to because it's it's people around me. You people is fucking weird, bro. Chamelia. Y'all just be having a lot of shit to say. Can't invite this guest. Oh, uh, you think I just tried to? Yo, er, is a. I just tried to invite you. I said I can't invite you. I think you got a flip phone, bro. Serenity. <laughs> Somebody said, I had these nuts. Y'all is on here wowing. I'm finna be late. Seventy three people declined to speak. That's crazy. I don't see serenity. I'm in New York, Shana. Shannon. Invite me again. What's up? Where you from? Why you got me on this shit? Dude, we talking about just What's this? Come. Forget it, boy. Wow. Are you a are you a dyke? 
<laughs> um, what? I said, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good. Where are you from? New York. What part? The Bronx. I'm, I'm, I was just in the Bronx on Castle Hill. Oh, you on Castle? I'm about third ass. That's a fact. Shout out to everybody on Tremont. Oh, you already? You already. That's a Fendi. That's a Fendi. Do you know why you know why you you know why you're in this group, right? Nah, my girl was watching this shit, man. She got me. I don't even know what, what the fuck is going on. I'm confused. So hey, hey, show your girl. We need to know who she is. I didn't know she was a lesbian. Nah, no, no, no. Um <laughs> everybody already said everything though, like why you don't want to show yourself? Do she have a warrant? She got a warrant? Mm -mm. Nah, she don't got a warrant. She got some fucking scarf. Take the damn scarf off for two minutes. <laughs> damn. Do she have a clean panties on? She in the towel, but it's not even that serious. <laughs> so it's crazy, but whatever. My bad. I thought she wanted to discuss this, but whatever. I want you two to take care. Y'all be safe, all right? All right, man. I don't even know why you made me. All right. Have a good day, yo. You too, man. And wash your tongue after licking it. Sorry, God. Yo, so somebody said, so <laughs> somebody said, hold up. Somebody said 73 people didn't ask to speak, right? Then somebody says, <laughs> hello. Somebody said, hello. Chill, Zach. Somebody said, so just tried to invite. <laughs> so I said, oh my God, my nigga. Somebody said, someone just tried to invite me to their lab. It's 6 a.m. here. <laughs> this is crazy, my nigga. Y'all <clears throat> is fucking crazy. Oh, my God. It's crazy how everyone he called had to excuse my baby sleep. My dog by me crying. Everybody. Fuck all these trolls because they fake pages. Just do a recap from what you were saying earlier for those who missed it. I got you, Gerald. I got some more to say, but never mind. Exactly. Invite who want to speak. Who want to speak? I decline because I ain't going on with a face mask. Like, you, you thinking the wrong thing, Lancey. Like, come on, yo. I want to hear, like. Daddy's home. <laughs> he said they tell him to go live. Alicia Williams. Somebody say he's disrespectful. <laughs> okay, sweetheart. Log one, sweetheart. Red star.
I don't see Serenity Island nowhere. How the fuck is a hundred people declining, bro? This is crazy. Somebody said, where the fuck are those interviews? I don't know, but I think you might be banned out this, uh, you know, you use a profane language, pal. It's too late for that. What is wrong with you, dude? Go back to Tennessee, pal. Rare star, you're now invited. Answer, buddy. He declined quick as fuck. Where's Serenity Allen I'm looking for? Jay Cedar, he don't want to do... Okay, let me invite Jay Cedar. Everybody declining, bro. This is... my fucking bonnet off while you hate mad bitches out there talking about motherfucking popcorn bags and shit. The fuck? But anyway, um... Serenity, I'm calling you right now. I'm calling Serenity. Answer Serenity. She ain't even I've been sleeping in my bed. I've been sleeping in my bed. Sleeping in my bed. So sure. So sure me verily. All the time to never leave. I don't know where I went wrong. I don't know where I went wrong. I can write a song. I belong to you, you belong to me with my sweet home. I belong to you, you belong to me in my sweet. I belong to you, 
You belong to me in my sweet sweet home. I belong to you. You belong to me in my sweet home. I just want to spend some quiet time So I can make this sense Stand line Or just sip at 31 If it's not Get on your smile Now 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 On the way down <laughs> It's a wake up wake up I wake up with some more you mad Big Some more you mad Post, we don't get your thoughts on. We can get them in a surrushing short scene of it. I can tell you, it's your baby. Oh, baby. So, big, 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 it's gonna make it bad. But now. Yeah, oh, yeah, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, just like you, I've been looking so oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, just like So it's giving people the opportunity to express their own kind of meanings, metaphors, the point of being. All I care about is money in the city that I'm from. So it's um, it's just that I'm, and I'm only getting all the somebody should have told you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? What, what we on? What we on? Commercial or something? Damn, I forgot about this laugh. My bad, G. I just I was in my feelings. What's up, though? Yeah, because I was, I was blowing up your, um. My inbox? Yeah. <laughs> Where you from? Ohio. You still? You said, do I still? Yeah. Why I got to steal? No, I, I don't know. I'm just asking. Do you still, though? No, I don't steal. Are you pregnant? Yeah, I am. Let me see your baby. <laughs> no. You can, you can see my big baby up here. How many kids you got? How old is your son? Is he 16? No. <laughs> He's three. How many baby daddies you got? One. You know? What you talking about to say two? No, I'm just... Uh, how old are you? 19? No. Oh. 22. 22. Oh, that's what's up. But um, what you ask? What I gotta steal for? We see I'm a booster or something. I don't know. Dude. They say most people from Ohio steal, and and they 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 know for stealing pennies. I don't know how true it is. I just read that in 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 in, in, the, in the magazine. No, it's a it's a lot it's a lot of boosters, but uh, uh I'm too I'm too scared to steal. What you like? No 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 funny shit. What you got on? You just got on a big T-shirt. Do you wear clean bras? 
Yeah, I wear clean bras. I ain't the type of girl that my bras twice. Uh, <laughs> you funny. You funny. No, nah, but what's your thoughts on, on Kanika? No, the first time I was on here, it caught me off guard, so I didn't really know what to say. But um, the first the first time I heard this case, um, I seen her pictures like all on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. So I really want I really wasn't paying attention to it until one particular person was like, it was a girl that was found in the freezer. So I started reading about it or whatever. What I don't understand is. People was like, it was an accident. She walked in the freezer by herself. If at times I've been sloppy drunk or whatever, like for instance, if it's cold outside, if I'm drunk and I go outside, it's going to wake me up. Like, it's, it's going to make me come to my senses. So I know this girl didn't walk in the freezer by herself, and then she just trapped in the freezer. And especially how people saying that she could get out the freezer I ain't never seen the freezer, so I don't know how you could go in or out. But I'm sure she didn't just walk in there and just stay in there. It don't make sense. Exactly. Exactly. Tell me more. Tell me more. So, um, her friends, I mean, when I first heard about it, because I'm not going to lie, I was, I was judging the lives too. I was watching the live. I'm hearing certain stuff that everybody was talking about. They hearing something. So, oh, they raping that girl or whatever. But it's like, you're right. It's it was enough evidence. Half of the people would have been um, arrested if it was that much she was telling in the live or whatever. But um, me and my mom was talking about it the other day. My mom didn't really know nothing about it. So I was telling her, I feel like the hotel did have something to do with it. So people like, um, why would they cover it up? That's, at the end of the day, that's the business. They, they go try, try to protect themselves. Like that that's a hotel. It's by the airport too. People come in and out of town. They want they want to rooms and stuff like that. They gonna do everything they can to, you know, protect their brand, protect their name and stuff like that. But for all the people saying it was an accident, that wasn't an accident. You can't tell me that girl walked in no freezer and just and just stayed in there. It looked like somebody was guiding her, talking to her. Cause she she's stumbling and hitting walls in the hallway, but as soon as she touched that kitchen, she she ain't falling. She ain't bumping into the table or nothing. She walking straight. Somebody probably telling her, come here. Or even if she was looking for, see, I don't know. I wasn't there. So even if she was looking for somebody or looking for her friends, somebody like, probably like, I could, here go your friends over here. Or, or come over here. I could show you your way back and stuff like that. Like, you don't never know somebody's intentions and stuff like that. So I wasn't there. So I really can't speak on it. They told me some she was drugged. That girl, 19 years old, she knew she was smoking, drinking, whatever. She was accepting drinks. So I don't think she was drugged. She was having a good time. She ain't know it was about to she ain't know she was go leave home and not come back home. She 19 years old. So I can't say what I would have did. Because it wasn't me and I'm not in her shoes. I'm not in her mama's shoes. Everybody judging her mama. Like that's not right. That lady got cancer. And so everybody agreed differently. That that lady is not about to be on live when she go on live crying, boo hooing, and stuff like that. Like that lady going through a lot. I heard she already lost her son or whatever. She going through a lot. Like everybody want her crying and acting a certain way. You know, everybody agreed differently. Facts, big facts. Everything you said, um, Taj, I agree with you with everything. You're very intelligent. Hush, hush. Yeah, I was I was one of them people that was judging Irene and stuff like that. Like, ooh, fuck her, da, 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 she no good or whatever. But like you said earlier, everybody, if it was that serious and everybody had something to do with it, everybody would start snitching on each other. Everybody would have been like, I ain't about to be going uh, down for nothing y'all did. You know what I'm saying? So after I watched the little footage, I think I think the hotel had something to do with it. It was just too much. It was just too much going on. And then why was the security guard? Because I've, I've been kicked out of plenty of hotels. I done had birthday parties at hotels. I done got kicked out for having too many people in the room, being too loud, being in the hallway. So just for a security guard to be like, put a towel under the door so nobody smell the weed. Like, you, you doing your job all along. It was, it was too many people in there, first off. So they should have been, been put out. Yeah. 
<laughs> you ain't never lying. Are you? And then I'm watching the video. It's all them in the video. The, the music up. I know it's other people on the floor. Like I know y'all getting calls or complaints and stuff like that. Like, ain't no way they would have. They would have been kicked out. Are you going? Would you go to the Crown Plaza? I would. I would go to the even if I'm in Ohio. I would travel to Chicago just to go to the Crown Plaza and book a room. Walk them same steps that she did. Do the same thing and see what happened. Cause even if Monifa did take her out that room and left her to go get some keys or something, let's say the hotel known for selling. You know, I can't say it around him, but for selling um, Gucci. you know, ass basically or whatever. So they seen. You see how she was dressed? She had a jean jacket. She had a bra on. You know, she was she was looking good. They they probably seen her, thought nobody cared about her. Oh, we could get her. You know what I'm saying? Thought wouldn't nobody go come looking for her. Like it was just a lot of I think that, you know, probably happened. They seen she was off her P's and Q's and everybody seen that. She was messed up. So they probably tried something. See how far they could go. She probably wasn't going for it. She probably fought back. Ain't no telling what happened after that. Exactly. I, be, I, 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 I why why they go straight to the freezer though? Out of all places, y'all go in the freezer. Yeah, and, and, and that's crazy. Everything you saying, I agree. Out of all places, y'all go straight to the fucking freezer. Like, come on now. Like she could have been in another room or something, but y'all go straight to the freezer. Y'all go straight to the kitchen. When that lady called asking, can y'all look at footage? Y'all should have looked at it. That girl probably would have still been here to this day. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. That's crazy. Thank you for tuning in because I really appreciate you. Did you have to go fix your hair before you get back on? You said what? Did you have to fix your hair? Yeah. The first time I had a scarf on, they was calling me ratchet and stuff like that. I had to take my scarf off. Oh, so you wanted to... So you want to get on here and show people how you really coming? <laughs> no, no. The first time I couldn't say everything that I wanted to say. So, look, so since you're on here and you're showing everybody your hair, you got to um, get up and do a selfie look. Like, show everybody how you really look. Oh, my God. What I got to go in this? So, no, you just want to see my stomach. You think you slick. You just want to see care about your stomach, sweetheart. I, I, yeah, you ask. I, you ask. Oh, let me see. Huh? Let me see. How many people live in that room? I got pajamas on just like everybody else. No, no, no. You good. <laughs> got pajamas on just like everybody else. Is, is, is your mattress on the floor? No, this is not. This is not my house is my mother house that's who just called me downstairs how old is your mother how old is my mom yeah she's older she's 54 let's meet her let's see how she feels I, I she called my name because i'm too loud for one and she got to get up at 4 30 in the morning to go to work where's she work at she work um at a factory oh uh, that's what's up what part of Ohio are you in? Columbus? No, I'm in Cleveland. I remember you. I know. I knew exactly. I knew who you was. I knew that was you. Yeah. Okay. From, that you old girl from Craigslist. <laughs> I'm from Craigslist. When you when you on when you on Craigslist selling loose DVDs and two dollar squares? Shut up! Don't play with me. Not playing. But now I, Tanaj, I appreciate you coming on here talking. My name. Oh, shut up. What's your name? Tajane. 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 That's dope. Thanks. You take care of Tajane and kiss some kids for me. And where they did it? At work. You work third shift. That's my And friend. I work first. Tell, tell them I said what's up, man. And I hope you guys get married, okay? Mm -mm, I don't know about all that, but thank Hi, you. Hi, Mommy. You take them, I thought. Your kid, do he speak English? 
Yeah. <laughs> you funny. He was just trying to say hi, but I ain't let him get in the camera. No, put him on. Put him on. Let me see if he's my son. Put him on. Oh. <laughs> nah. Oh, you got kids? Hell no, nah, I don't got no kids. Put, put him on. Let me see, shorty. Perfect. Hi. Hi. Hey, little Jacob. How are you? <laughs> hey, buddy. How are you? I'm done. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, Chris, this is my father. Shut up. You're making me sick. I'm not making you sick. We all, we are dead. We, we, you we sick. all off subject. Get to the next people. Call Bella or something. All right. Oh, okay. I'll see you offended. You take care, okay? Somebody said, is the bed on the floor? Oh my God, how embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Folks, you motherfuckers are going in tonight. Hell no, somebody said, it's her bed on the floor. That ain't embarrassing. Most black women sleep like the angle front. A lot of black women sleep with their bed on the floor. It ain't 10 women in, in this group right now that got, got a bed frame, so don't front y'all shit. I'm going to be friendly shit. Hey, you know what I said? It's a bed on the floor. How embarrassing. Oh, my God. These people crazy. Is your bed on the floor? So I said, is your fucking bed on the floor? Lacey, he ain't somebody, that's my answer. Your voice should never be heard, sweetheart. You can't do that. Maria, answer. Oh, this is that. Maria, please answer. Maria, answer. Oh, some serious shit. Maria, answer. Then I tell you I was at work. Hey, Maria. I'm so fatty. I can't hear. Why Hello? I got an X up there? Why I got an X up there? Or X what? You hear me now? I can hear you clear as day. Then I tell you I was at work. Some of us is at work. Maria, you owe me. What I owe you? That? You is not going to embarrass me like you just did that little retarded girl nah. up there. Nah, nah, I ain't not. Nah. I'm saying you owe me. Zach, I don't owe you anything. Um, I'm so bad. You... <laughs> I'm so bad. How you been, cousin Maria? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I'm at work. No, but real seriously, when I get back to Chicago, can, you gonna let me drive your car? Where you at? In New York. Now, why you ain't sleep? I'm supposed to be at this um uh, at this fucking party tonight, but I'm, I think I'm gonna wash up and lay down. I gotta be up early in the morning. I ain't going. What time you come back home? I'll be back on um, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. You be at that how week? Hell yeah, take care of some business. Can you take me to breakfast? Take you to breakfast? Yeah, when I get back. <laughs> we'll see that. Hey, we'll yeah. see. I'll, you I'll said what? I'll tell y'all something, but never mind. You so petty. You, you, and you gonna start uh -huh. that bullshit. No, guess, I swear to God, guess who called me the other, today, but I ain't answered. Oh, your favorite Jamaican. person in the whole. Nope. You ain't got no more favorites. Mason, that's the only next one. Mason, who's that? Mason, my grandbaby. Oh, I want to see him too. I want to see the baby. 
You, will you ain't never saw the baby. I saw him a long time ago, but not like when he was first born. But I ain't seen him recently. He damn near walking now. Huh? What for real? Nah, he's six months. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Who you see? Go? I'm gonna leave up out of here in about 40 minutes. Where That's supposed to get off at 4:30. <laughs> oh. Uh, um, so what you think happened, honestly? I honestly can't tell you that because those the videos is all over the place. I don't think that baby walked in that freezer. Do I think she was drugged in that room? Yes, I do. But I really, honestly, don't know what happened. It's <laughs> There's too many ways they can go. It's a lot of people that look like they can't be involved. Do I think them kids murdered that girl? Hell no. Hell no. No, I do not think them kids. But do I know? Do I think some of them know what happened? Yes. Are they scared for their life? Yes. But mm. I don't. I don't. No, I think it's way bigger than what happened inside that party, baby. It is. It is. Most like you, uh, some, I hear people saying it's gang related. I don't think it's gang related. Hell no, they gang related. What gang do that? They talking about the whole damn family. The, the daddy, the father, the son, the grandson, the girl, the white girl to do the editing. God damn, y'all put the case together right there. That's crazy. That's crazy. And you know what somebody said in this group? Somebody said, do you think, tell me this, do you, do you think, Maria, that the people that was in the hotel room is in this group on fake pages? I can believe that. Me too. Yeah. I can believe that. Like you say, some I'm scared to talk. So they watching. They observing. They listening. All these groups are open. All you got to do is add a member. Yep. Everybody that tell me to add them, all I got to do is add a member. Hold up. And they is in the group. People like, no, 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 no. Like my friends. No, not nobody that I don't know. Like my friends. Like add me, add me. All I go is press member. And click on their name and add. So when you when you first saw me in the group, what was you thinking? Like, oh my god, they was bashing you. Y'all get the <laughs> fuck off Zach. Zach ain't did nothing to nobody. Y'all mad this man won't release the damn tapes. It's safety reasons. Like I'm quite sure they've been at your head about this case. I'm quite sure they've been at them little kids' head about this case. The kids, they mama's telling them not to release the tapes. But I felt like if they didn't want the interviews uh, put out, that they shouldn't have took them. Yeah, so, I knew what was going on in them interviews. Yeah. So you think I should just drop them or, or say fuck the interview? Like, what you got to do? I, I can't answer that question, Zach. Like I said, I really I believe your safety would be at risk. I really believe your safety would be at risk if you explode them tape. Right. So they, They're not saying don't tra- expose them for a reason. Right. They're not telling you don't expose them for a reason. True, true. true. Maybe because so they don't want to catch themselves up in the lie. Who knows? I got one more question off the record. When you get off work, what are you making? Eggs, bacon, or biscuit? I don't eat before I go to bed. Nothing. You don't? Did you just see my post saying I can't fit none of my damn jeans? I don't eat before I go to bed. Uh-uh. That's crazy. I ain't seen you in a long time, Cousin Maria. <laughs> you are so petty. Zach, you enjoy your night and let me finish my job so I can sneak up out of here. You take care. I'm a, when I get back, you taking me to breakfast? Feel free to call me, Zach. Okay, take care. All right. All right. My phone. She says, you know. How am I crazy? I don't get it. What do I do that's crazy? Yeah.
Everybody say back cuz movie. Yeah. Back. Hello. Why is you calling me back? It did it, it did it on accident. No, whatever. What you want? Hey, hello. Somebody said it got. Well, first I want you to stop feeding your dear fourteen year old son breast milk, and second I want you to, to to scrub the back of your neck with some Brillo pads. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey, get in the light. Get in the light for a second, sweetheart. Hey, you light skin. I like light skin girls. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how are you? Um, talk your mm -hmm. your piece right now. I'm sorry, I'm at work right now. I'm trying to be a little quiet. It's cool. Just don't mm -hmm. just don't burp. I'm not. Okay, so talk to shit. Um, what I got to say about this situation is a lot of people have been saying like that they, they think that the friends has something to do with it. I absolutely don't. I feel like that the hotel had a lot to do with it. The security guard is suspicious as hell. Um, a man did a video about it. It was like he um show all the clips and how the guys was walking with her outside and stuff like that. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I just feel like that they're completely right about that. He's completely right about that. Like the guys walked with her said she did look scared. Um, the security guard afterwards, he had, a, he was putting his sweater on running. Like it's just really suspicious. So Shyla, what, what city are you in? Hmm. What city are you in? I'm, I'm, I'm in Oakland right now. Oh, you in Chicago? Mm -hmm. Why the fuck? Why you ain't say that, G? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, what, I'm in Oakland at work right now. You what, said what? What area are you from in Chicago? The south side. Like what? Like True Street. 73rd, 69th, 71st. 85th. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. You know what high school over but that cat you met? See, I didn't go to school. I was actually, mama raised me in the suburbs, so I went to, like, Thorn and stuff like that. How did you? You 24? No, I'm 20. Damn, you a kid? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do, you got some kids or no? Oh, no. Two jobs and going to school. Can't do no kids right now. What, what, what's your major in school? Uh, sociology. That's dope. What's your favorite color? Pink. You like red meat or blue meat? What? You like red meat or blue meat? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Red meat like fucking steak. And blue meat is like cold hot dogs. Oh, uh, red meat. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Definitely stay in school. I'm definitely proud of you. Anything else you want to say concerning the case? Um, I want to tell you to continue to do what you're doing. Don't worry about all of these haters because I've been seeing a lot of people say a lot of things about you. I'm I'm with you. Been with you from the jump. So stay with it. Justice for Kanika. Yeah, gee, I'm so proud of you and I love you. Justice for Kanika, I swear. Uh, it's, it's women like you that mm -hmm. work even hard, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, one more question. How many people are you watching at your job? Six. Do they ever get up in the middle of the night and just start doing push-ups? No, they're um, men with mental illnesses. Wow, for real?
Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Hey, do you you have a um no disrespect, you have a mother named Trina Moore Troop? Yes. <laughs> How's she doing? You don't even know I know her. You don't know you know mom? I ain't gonna lie, me and your mother we went to we went to school together. When she didn't have food to eat, I used to give her my leftovers. I don't believe that. <laughs> you don't gotta believe it, but it's just, you know. But her name Trina Moore Troop. I know, man. I remember you when you was a baby. You probably don't even remember me. Zach, really? Believe it or not, I used to breastfeed you. Now you know. <laughs> Right. You know I definitely don't believe that one. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But no, finish working. I'm about to call your mother, okay? Okay. Okay, take care. Deuces. Deuces. Zach, you are a baby. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's completely dark in here. Sorry. Hey, how are you? I'm great. Couldn't be better. Where are you located in Chicago? Oh, I'm in the suburbs, south suburbs. Oh, um, do you like donating money? No, I don't donate money. I donate um other items, just not money. Yeah, and that's smart because you know it's, it's it's all types of scams out here. But it's a new um I just saw it early on the infomercial. It was on actually on YouTube. It was um what was it? Donate to you ever heard of kids off the block? No, I've heard about the kids off the block. Mm-mm. Yeah, well, it's like a donation. But what's your thoughts on the Kanika situation? Um, I think I, well, I've, I've voiced um my opinion about what happened. I don't think it's foul play. Um, I, I if, if there's anyone to blame, it's whoever gave her the alcohol. Um, those West Side pills that have everybody off the chain. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Hold up, you said blame whoever gave her the alcohol. Yeah, I believe she had something that really took her way off her square. Wow, wow. So do you believe the French has something to do with it or no? Immediate friends? Um, mm. I'm kind of iffy about that. Uh, you know, I haven't watched those tapes that everyone's talking about I've, I've just seen here and there what people post but i don't i don't think so I, I i know i could be wrong but i really don't think so me neither me neither when it when it when, when it all boils down um do you and, and honestly do you think we'll ever get justice for Kanika? no sir no 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 you don't nope Wow. It's gonna take a lot, and it's just gonna, and it's gonna take more than um. Oh, this is gonna sound bad. Those people that was out protesting, that's not gonna get us justice. That's the wrong representatives to have out there. Nobody's gonna what, take them serious. What should we do? We need some some better um representatives out there on the ground. Too much laughing, too much playing, too much joking. You know, got to get serious about it. You want justice? You know, those smiles got to come off the face. So it's not going to work. So, so as, as black people, should we go out there and fight fire with fire? No. Mm. Just, 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 just take it more serious is basically what you're saying, correct? Yep. Wow. Yep. Yep. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. 
Well, man, thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate it. I want you to have a blessed day, okay? Okay, you too. Thanks, sweetheart. God bless you. All right. Yeah, that was interesting. She said she don't think we ever get justice. Wow. Amelia Barty. Who is Carver? I don't see Carver out here. Seen the answer. Hello. Hello. This your first time on here? Hello? No. Oh, this is the girl. Remember, Bob. I spoke with you already. Yeah. Are you... So, girl, what you been on? How your kids? I only have one, so drop the S. When you, when you, are you ever coming to Chicago to protest? Um, No. Wow. What, what, why not? I will never step foot in Chicago. Sorry. Why? Is that? why? I'm terrified. The sweetheart. I know, I know a guy who is from Chicago. He's a lot older. And his stories scare the shit out of me. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I'm terrified. I will never go to Chicago. Like, and I live in Baltimore, and they say Baltimore is bad, but this is my hometown. I'm used to it. But to go somewhere where I don't know anybody and I don't know what's going on, I don't know where I should and shouldn't be, I'm not trying to do that. So I'm going to be honest with you. But so you, 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 are, you feel you're safe in your hometown where people get killed at every day, but you don't want to go to Chirac? I'm safe in my hometown because I am from here and I know where and where not to go. And even if I go where I'm not supposed to go at, I'm not scared because I know people. But I, there, I know nobody. You get it? Yeah, but you, it, you know these people in the group will take good care of you. <laughs> I find that hard to believe, man. I do. They still, I mean, everybody is very opinionated. Um when it comes to people they don't know and they not going to care for people they don't know, you know? So I, I don't, I don't believe that at all. You're such a, you handsome. I see you. Who? You getting it together. Okay. No, hell no. I'm going to have a shower. But keep, oh, all right. You was just about to go to a party like two hours ago. I swear to God, I'm so tired. You have no idea how much work I got. Let do. me ask. This is totally off subject, but I wanted to throw that out there. It's a girl named Jess Hilarious. I don't know if y'all follow her. Um, she's on Instagram and she's on Facebook. That's my she's woman. really funny. She's really funny. Check her out. That's my girl. But anyhow, That's... back to the situation. Oh, so you just wanted to throw some promo in there? That's my girl, man. She's funny as hell. You can't deny that. So, yeah. So tell me this. Are you bleeding? What? <laughs> hell no. I'm straight. So you're not bleeding? Ayo. <laughs> Nah, I'm good. Uh, okay. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. 
No, because sometimes um, they they say when 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 chicks that's down like that's from like any states that's below Philly when you're bleeding you're not mentally thinking you're not thinking straight. So I just want you to, you know what I'm saying? Just wanted to double check. Um, I've never heard that before, but okay. Yeah, it's a lot of things. Do you wear foam posits? No. My son has some, though. He loves them. How he says they're comfortable. Son? He's 10. Does he smoke weed? No. Well, my son has his innocence. He's a great little kid. Does he I've raised him that way. Does he go to school with guns and peanut butter? Negative. <laughs> he might take a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but he ain't taking no guns. My son don't know about all that. I keep him away from all that. How do you feel about this group? Um, I just joined this group. Actually, I was in another group um, for Kanika and a friend of mine invited me to this group. So I actually just joined and this is my first time even um, scrolling through when I seen this live. So when you saw this live, were you taking, like, were you excited? Like, oh my God, I'm happy right now. I, they, I could relate to their situation. No, I wasn't excited. I was just interested in as to what you were talking about because everybody has uh, point of view on this uh, situation with Kanika. So, of course, I wanted to see what your opinion was or if you had. That's why when I first came on, I was like, are you stating facts or are you, you know, saying your opinion like everybody else? And they're like, you know, he said he's stating facts. And I'm like, well, how'd I know? I just joined. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. How you, just, how do you feel about Kaepernick taking a knee? Who? Kaepernick. Well, I ain't got really no response on that, really. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that's some more bullshit how they trying to play him. And then, like, when he do one certain thing and then they let the president do something and then it's just like, he can he can do something and it's all an old outrage about him taking, not wanting to take a knee or whatever the case may be. But then they got the president and he'll do some stupid shit like go and throw paper towels at motherfuckers and they're praising this nigga. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, that's that's crazy to me too. That's crazy. So tomorrow, you you gotta go to work tomorrow now. Nah, I'm off on Fridays. What you do? You sell crack? Nah, I work at the pharmacy at Red Eight. For real? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Of course you did. <laughs> you ever thought about like totally off subject, but everybody sleep? <laughs> you ever thought about being a stripper? Next subject. So I, what, I don't want to talk about that. So is it is it true? Because somebody told me like, yeah, she used to strip in Baltimore. Is that true? Yeah. I know you don't remember. <laughs> Listen, so you look, don't look, look. know me, dog. No, I don't know you. Look, so you'd be surprised when it's wrong. My homie saw this laugh. He texted me like, "Yo, I know her. She used to be a dancer. He ain't say nothing bad about you." But you say you used to be a dancer. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So you never know who watches this live, but that's crazy. I'm glad that you... That's cool. I'm Ain't no shame in my game, baby. That's why I fucks with you. You should be 32 right now. Are you 32? Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> I fuck. Why no. are you doing this? I'm not even... Don't do that. Because no at the end of the day... Listen, at the end of the day, I'm not that old. You understand? No, so... no, you're not. Listen, you're not. Aren't you 32, though? No. How do you? I'm 29. Dead ass. Fact? <laughs> yes. Why you look like I'm lying or something? I, I ain't got no reason to lie about nothing. Oh, word. Okay. That's what's up. I fucked with you the long way. Sorry, Hello? I was reading the comments. I'm sorry, I was reading the comments. Go ahead. Now, what they say, what they say. She said he lying. He just wanted you to tell him. <laughs> it's all good. I don't know why I'm so, I can't sleep at night because I'll be. You eat shit. If you I should sleep, be sleep. I got... What? Is, what that got to do with anything? No, no, no. no. <laughs> if, if you can't, if if you can't, if you can't sleep, cut the fan off. Oh, that's what not you what thought? you said though. But no. I... What you taught us is you said you said if you can't sleep, take your bra off. What? I heard you. 
<laughs> that's yeah. just like when the girl was on the phone and you was like, is you a dyke? And she like, what you say? And you like, I don't know what you said to her or something. Like you said something else, but you really asked her like, are you a dyke? Like I was dying laughing at that. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> it was hilarious because you could clearly see that that was a dog. You know, so. that's a fact. That's a fact. How do you talk? I can't with... even move my phone because my phone is on a charger. My iPhone went straight dead on me. Is you still? You, you lost a lot of weight, huh? No, I ain't. What you mean? You still thick? How, what are you talking about? Like, do you know me? Is my that what ho- you're saying? My, I don't know you. My homie know you. So why are you saying I lost weight? I have not lost no weight. I'm I'm saying when he texted me like exit. Ain't you nobody should... texting you nothing. <laughs> what the fuck? Watch this, watch this. I can't with you right now. You oh, need to chill, go to chill, bed. Chill. Do you still got that tattoo on your left ass cheek? I've never had a tattoo on my left ass cheek. Never, ever. Well. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. See? My bed. I'm tired. I swear to God, I'm on bed. Yeah, you tired. You need to go to bed. Take your shower. You know what I'm saying? Get all rubbed up and lotioned up and go to bed. It's call it a nightcap, all right? What's your name again, Kimberly? Nika, Tanika. Tanika, Ta- what's your social? I don't have one, actually. You don't have a social? I'm a, I don't have a social. I'm an alien. Do you no, <laughs> Do you believe in alien? Why would I give you my social on, on social media? I'm trying to get some lights on in your name. No. Sorry. Mm-mm. It's okay. So, do you, do you believe in aliens? Do I believe in aliens? Yeah. To an extent. Like, do you believe it's life on other planets? Yes. Yo, me too. I swear to God. You ever heard of a planet called Planet Circle? No, but I will research it. Yo, nah. I do a lot of research. No, like this is me being serious, like not no funny shit. Yeah, like check out this. It's this book I read. Um, I read this shit like five, four or five years ago. It's called "Behold the Pale Horse" by William H. Cooper. That shit is gonna blow your mind about all the top-notch government conspiracies and shit that they've been had going on, but they never told the people. Are you getting tired? Oh yeah, most definitely. It's so most much. Definitely. Like it's, it's facts. Do you believe like um? If, Let me ask you a question. What's up? Did you hear about the other uh, women that were found in body, uh, found in uh, freezers in different cities? Because I tried to get your attention on saying that on the comments, but you never responded to that. So did you hear about that? They found one in Virginia. They found one in um, Atlanta today. I think that was today or yesterday. Um, the Western peach tree or some, something like that in um, Atlanta, Georgia. They found one. They found one in, uh, a woman, and they were saying it was no foul play, and you know they wasn't ruling it a um, homicide. But that's all they said. And I seen this. Um, I actually seen this on Facebook, and it was on a um, like a broadcast that they did in the city. You know how in the city they have different news broadcasts, and um, that's why I seen it on Facebook because in Baltimore we can't see the news in Georgia. You know what I mean? So. I seen it on Facebook, and they were saying that they found a body in um, the freezer in Georgia, as well as Virginia. Wow. You didn't hear about that? I did. I did hear about that, but that's crazy. So you think, what you think? Um, it's not a conspiracy. You understand? What's going on is when um, Miss Teresa said that if her daughter has to be used to awaken and open people's eyes as to what is going on, I truly believe her when she said that because this, um, I know a lot of people, even you said it, like the organ harvesting is not something that you think happened with Kanika's case, but I feel like this situation is something that's been happening before it's been exposed. You understand? I actually did some, I do a lot of research and that's what I was saying. I actually did some research where they have a, um, the organ harvesting farm where they have all of these big ass freezers that lead to other freezers in Maryland. And I was terrified when I read that. And I'm like, 
Oh Lord, I can you know what I mean? It's like it freaks you out to the to this day now. Ever since I've heard about this, I am terrified to go to a hotel. I don't want to do it. So when when you out of town, where you sleep at? I don't go out of town. You understand? I have been out of town previously to this happening, but now that this is happening, I'm not going to no hotel. I'm not going out of town. Like I I'm scared. That's like great. I plan to go out of I plan to go to Vegas for my thirtieth birthday this year, and I'm not going. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to stay in the hotel. Wow. If, so I'm going to stay home in my own bed. If you want to, come to Chicago. Negative. <laughs> Why? <Wow. laughs> I ain't playing. Why you don't want to come to Chicago? You wasn't listening to nothing I said. Like, that shit is sad. Dude, I'm listening to everything you say, but I'm saying, don't let this one... Um, experience scare you from coming to a city. Chicago's a beautiful city, all bullshit aside. You know that, right? It's a beautiful city. Yeah, I actually seen somebody take a picture on the sky rise of Chicago, and it was beautiful. I was like, wow, that looks really good, but I wouldn't be up there taking those pictures, though. I'd be scared. It's a beautiful city in Chicago. It's just here. You just gotta know how to move in certain places. You you know what I'm saying? Just like any city, just like Baltimore, West Baltimore, East Baltimore, you know? I don't know. I ain't scared to go nowhere in Baltimore. Like, yeah, it's because you're from. There. I keep my, I mean, I keep my baseball bat and all that shit in my car. You know what I'm saying? So we good. Don't step out of line. Okay. You keep the. And bet. that's just that. That's a Fendi fact. That's for sure. <laughs> you shit. I don't play with people. I'm a, I'm a small girl. You know what I mean? How small? Taj, are... come visit. Your your um, your little boy. He's so cute. You can come visit, and I'll make sure you're good down here, all right? <laughs> I'm reading the comments. I know you're looking like, the fuck she talk about? Jaquita says, <laughs> you you say so? Everybody said they want to visit Baltimore now because of you. Nah. Baltimore ain't shit. I ain't telling them I, I said it. Hey. How many? Don't how, drive your car up here because you ain't gonna have no tires when you go home. You potholes is crazy. It's mad potholes, like they deep as shit. You fuck around, get stuck. <laughs> how many? What type of roaches you got? Nigga, please. I ain't got no goddamn roaches. My house sit by itself. Okay, I'm not connected to nobody. That's how you get roaches and mice in Baltimore. When you have those connected row houses, I have a single family home. Okay. Let's say what type of roaches you got. What type of roaches you got? You got roach crawling out your scout right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, me. You <laughs> stay like, with me. What you say? I'm you say you got a roach crawling out your scout right now. You funny, my nigga. Hey, <laughs> do people do do people argue with you in this group or not? I told you I just I just joined this group and um. This is my first time scrolling through, so I don't know, you know what I mean? I haven't really been on here as much for somebody to argue with me. And if they did, I wouldn't argue back because it's not worth it. I ain't got time. That's a fact. I got a, I, and I'm letting you know now, I'm starting a new group Um, in the three days. Uh, is What the fuck is it? Uh, Pimps up, hoes down. But it don't got nothing to do with this. It's just some, some personal shit. So if you want to Joke. That doesn't sound like um, something. How did you take the have no tires in a totally different direction? What did you think I meant? <laughs> I was literally talking about tires on your car. Oh, I'm thinking you talk about um, condoms. I'm sorry. That's probably exactly what he thought. Um, I was reading the comments and he said, uh, I took the have no tires in a totally different direction. He probably thought the same thing. I was talking about your car, your vehicle. Oh, shit. My bad. I'm sorry. I mean, I drive easy. I got an expensive car, so I don't want my shit all fucked up. I know where where to slow down. What you got? You got, a, yes. you, you got a Buick Little Sabre? <laughs> You played, you know that, right? No, I got, got a BM, I got a BMW. 750 or 745? X5. Oh, okay. I'm familiar. What year? 05 or 06? 06. 
I know. I'm familiar with the twin turbo engine. I'm familiar. That's nice. That's nice. You ever thought you ever saw the X6? I did. They're smaller. Mm, wow, that's just crazy. I'm proud of you. You got a car. <laughs> <laughs> I always had a car. I had a car since I was 17. I just switch them up. You ever like? I just you ever smoke crack? Negative. You ever smoke weed? Yes, I just smoked before we got on this live. Don't worry about it. I didn't know you smoke weed, G. Yeah. I didn't know that. How long you been smoking weed? It's like 16. <laughs> Do your landlord know? Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> What do you got to do with what's going on in my crib? You know what I mean? As long as he get that check, don't worry about what I'm doing. How much percentage I got? I don't want to keep staying in this position. Gee, you funniest. Yeah. You said fuck him. But you want to hear the crazy thing? Your landlord is on his live. Okay. Tell him I said, hey, come cut this grass, baby. Y'all still, hold on. Y'all still, still got grass out there? Huh? Of course. I told you I have a single family home. But I'm so saying. So we have grass, yes. I'm saying. I don't live fall. in a row house. It's the fall. That's what I'm saying. How you got grass? Oh, no, it's fall? hot up here. It was 86 degrees today. Shit. Nigga. It was hot as fuck. Out here, it was yeah. 84 today. What you, when it's hot like that, what do you wear? I still wear my jeans. Um. Because I know it's fall, and I don't want this weather to get me sick. I don't have time to be sick. I got to go to work. Oh, wow. When you get sick, do you drink vinegar? When I get sick? Yeah. No. I barely get sick. And when I do get sick, the only type of medicine that I drink is... Um, Alka-Seltzer. Mus Mucinex. Mucinex. It works like a charm. It's Mucinex or... Sex. Mucinex. Mucinex. Sex. You need to go to bed, okay? No, Mucinex. I know what you're talking about. Wow. Yeah, you're geeky. Um, do you fuck with DC? No. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it 100. And it's not no DC Baltimore beef between the reason why I feel that way. I feel that way is because every time I come in contact with somebody from DC, I just get bad vibes. So I just don't have time for it. So I stay away from them. I could tell. It's have you ever dated? Ne negative. You ever? You ever? I'm saying, have you ever dated a guy that um, choked you? <sighs> Depends. Not, 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 not in bed. I'm talking about not doing sex. I'm talking about that guy that choked you so hard, your ass popped out of your head. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Negative. You don't like abusive relationships? No. I like that in you. Do you be in, do, do you, have you ever been in an abusive relationship? Hell yeah. This girl, I was with this girl for, for damn near two years. She threw some hot oatmeal on my back while I was asleep. Yeah. Friday. Hell yeah. That's messed she, up, man. What you do to her? She did, she pulled the Medea out, out her ass for you. Hell yeah. That ain't shit that, <laughs> this other um chick named Ebony let her pit bull attack me. Oh my God. That ain't shit. This other girl. Wow. She she stabbed me with. You lying? He lying now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm about to get ready to um go to sleep. What you finna do? Stay on left? Now I'm about to do some more some more digging. Like when I can't sleep, I be up uh doing some more digging into the Kanika uh, situation. So. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do some more digging and searching. Do you want me to send you six feet posters of Jedediah Brown? Um. Okay. I'm saying. Uh, who is that? Why you want it? You don't even. You don't even, Well, he's an activist. Oh, the the boy guy in Chicago, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
My right. my girlfriend was telling me a little something about her, about him, but I didn't know who um she was talking about. So yeah, it's something going on with him, right? They was claiming he was a rapist or something, and it came out to not be true. Yeah, they, you ain't see the interview he did. I didn't. I didn't. That's why I want to still do more digging because. G. I don't know. No, all, all jokes aside, I'm not trying to pro promo, but it's an interview I did with him on Zach TV. It's called Jedediah Brown. It's it's dope. You should check it out. So, like all bullshit aside. So Zach TV that you speak of, this is what YouTube or you have it like a channel or something? It's YouTube. It's a website. Um, uh, it's a blog spot. It's a podcast. It's everything. All jokes aside, some serious shit. Okay. Well, so, I wouldn't know about it if nobody told me. So. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all a little old. It's more like for the hip hop crowd. Do you listen to hip hop? I do. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you get Do you get drunk and have wild sex with randoms? No. <laughs> oh, a bit. I can't with you. I can't with you. Oh my god. Oh shit. Hey. Um. Another. Another. Is your bed on on milk crates or no? No, my bed has a frame and I have a, a headboard. Stop playing, all right? I can't even show you because my battery is like totally dead right now. Let me see. Okay. Mm. You don't gotta. I don't know how to. I don't know how to flip my phone. So, yeah. Well, this is what you do. Lay, lay in the bed. Lay, lay in the bed. Let me see if it's a real bed. What? What does that matter? You see my bed right here. Who's in it? Nobody. I'm alone. God, what sleep? happened? The fuck? I don't know what's going on. I think, are you with Boost? Nah, I got T-Mobile. I got a motherfucking uh, iPhone. Can you I, see me now? Uh, take it. Let's see. So I can't see anything. Have you ever slept with your maintenance, man? No. He's unbelievably old. I can't get this to act right. I guess, I don't know. I'm going to have to exit off, hon. I think that's a sign, sweetheart. That's definitely a sign. <laughs> this is not working at all. Okay, bye. You take care of Wanda Sykes. Cups of the roses. 